Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in this evening. Thank you for whatever that was. Carrie and Comfort Studios, thank you for the 11 months, almost a full year. We'll get you We'll get you in March. Yes. And then you will be ours forever. <laughs> thank you, Wes. We appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. Um, we hope you all enjoyed our um, beginning of our Let's Play of Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood last week. Because we are doing a part two. And with me once again is the lovely Ellie Collins from ATL by Night. Hello. Um, who will be heckling me again. Yeah. Because it makes this game much more fun. <laughs> um, in case you are new to our channel, I am Ian, or Ravnos. Uh, I am one of the three founders of Gehenna Gaming. We do a lot of tabletop streaming. Um, Vampire the Masquerade, Call of Cthulhu, a lot of horror tabletop. Pretty much only horror tabletop. A little bit of other stuff. And occasionally we play video games, especially when they relate to the the tabletop games we love so much. Hence, we're off the Apocalypse Earthblood. Real quick before we get started, I just want to say, uh, if you haven't already, tickets are on sale for virtualhorrorcon.com, um, or virtualhorrorcon, which you can get over at virtualhorrorcon.com, um, which I'll drop a link to right now. I need to set up a chat command for this. I was about to say, it's only your convention. Yeah, right? Um, and <laughs> if you go over to our shop, Hey, I do have one for that. You can get one of these really cool shirts. Yeah. Ooh, fancy. Anyway, uh, so there, I did my job. Mark won't yell at me. I promoted it. Um, <laughs> no, it's I'm a, wearing a shirt from the shop, but it's not a virtual horror concert. No, it's, nice, that's just our nice logo shirt. shirt. Yes. And, um, but no, seriously, Virtual Horror Con is um, the world's first horror tabletop convent, uh, virtual convention, which we started last year um, right after the pandemic hit in order to promote um, COVID relief. And this year we are doing it as a for-profit convention due to demand, um, because we're hoping to turn it into an annual thing. Portions of the proceeds will go to Black Girls Code, as well as the Blind Cat Sanctuary and Rescue down in North Carolina. And um, we are also paying all of our wonderful GMs and those running the workshops that we are selling tickets to. So if you want to help support content creators like Ellie here, who is participating in many events during it, um, you can do that by buying a t buying a badge, buying a ticket, and uh, participating next weekend. So it's going to be running the 19th to the 21st. Um, you can learn more, like I said, over at virtualhorrorcon.com. And that's all I have to say and about the preliminary it now. The preliminary schedule is already up, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we yeah, are so finalizing kind of... one more workshop. Otherwise, you can see all of the fantastic things. And we still have GMs submitting games. So if you want to play in non-streamed games during the convention, you can go buy tickets for those games. Like I said, about four, so some of the um, cost for that ticket goes directly to the GM. And then the rest goes to like, our fees and the charity and things like that. Um, so it's well worth it. Yeah. And we'll have... You can check out the schedule and see all the cool shit that there's going to be so you know you want to get a ticket. Yes. Panels, workshops, actual plays with some fantastic guests joining us, um, running across three different Twitch channels, and on YouTube. And I don't know what else to say about it right now. <laughs> it's really cool. Just get a badge. You're not going to regret it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. All right, now we're going to jump into Earth Blood again. So uh, yep. when we last left off, I was raging, and I don't really know what else was going on in the game. <laughs> uh, I'm 29% uh, of the I way don't in, remember though. Either. It says 29%. Oh, because we were feeling like we were halfway through last time with what people were saying. Yeah, because I've seen a couple but... people say it's like a six and a half to seven hour game. Hmm. But I assume I fuck around more than they do. I mean, yeah. That's I knew that would happen. So. Alright, where are we? Where are we? Where? And this is really fun because you all get to see me troll Ian and just act how we normally act at home. <laughs> Instead of my usual uh Serious cool storyteller and spooky, face. Yeah, my spooky storyteller face is actually just shit posting me. <laughs> It's not doing anything. I think my game froze. <laughs> Except it's flashing oh, no. still. Did, did you press oh. any key? I did. There we go. Are you sure? 
<laughs> What's the any It's the key? one labeled. It's the one labeled any. What is it, Kahal? I thought you were ready for the dam. We're into dialogue oh, immediately. Yeah. I forgot about those. Mm. Let's just go through the plan once Werewolf more. Werewolf Rick Flair, it so is. you're sneaking through the inside. <laughs> That's incredibly oh accurate. Is. Creating a diversion on the oh, outside. Woo! That should keep her attention off you. Yes, thank you, and Scott. if someone does How raise the he? alarm at the dam, Tank Girl will have no oh. idea mm. why you're really there. Good. You can count on me. Every time they say Tank Girl, it's too much for me. Yep. I had a chance to talk to you. I can't place who else this guy looks it's like. It's hard to believe, but he looks like somebody. What do you mean by that? He kind of looks like. Um, down. no, that's not it at all. I just want to know what happened. Peter, um, Fen will tell you. Oh God, he played Lucifer in Constantine. Zach, on help. On oh, Peter Stormare. Yes, Peter Stormare. True, in part. Kind of looks like Peter Stormare. Needed to keep the pack Yeah, he does a little unified. bit. But I never abandoned the spirit. <laughs> Thank you, Wes. I did everything I could for them. Uh, no, the, the music at the beginning is not them. alien weaponry. It's actually some random French the band, His like some is super here. indie French metal spreading band. Spreading everywhere. But we're all fighting against it. As Which is cool can. that they got as long as Endrin stays here. The yeah. worm like a smaller band strong. to do it and promote it. We'll try to corrupt I love our when that minds. Happens. To weaken Anytime the games or media just like take chances on smaller chance groups, I'm into it. Left, oh, yeah. It's why I don't really. I you'll find me nonplussed back. about the bu too, the God. bloodlines delays. I'm glad to have I really don't care uh, right because now. it's a smaller studio. They haven't really had an undertaking like this passes, before that I could find you know in their history. Well I do. So you know what? And take your time. Get it right. We'll be happy with it when it comes out. After what you did at the mine, exactly. We, I'd say you we waited are. 16 years That's for a sequel we now. didn't even think I we know. would actually get, so I think we can wait for, for a role. studio to have time. But you and I, we have a different bond. Whether I go or stay. Cheaper right, to pay though, a smaller band than to try and buy rice from Pujar. Yes, me. and you get the added I benefit of so, elevating God. people in the community <clears throat> that deserve it. So. Exactly. I read the message you left on Ludmilla's grave. I didn't know that you... I never should have given the green light for that mission. Never. I'll blame myself for the rest of my life. If I hadn't made that decision, my There's sister would so still be alive. There's so much dialogue in this game. And you. Why is he wearing, left. like, the Infinity Stone Where's rings? Fault, Rod, go? How could look. Known that <laughs> look. Trap for I us? Just, look. I just, I'm the leader I mean, of yeah, this me pack. too, but it was my they're all different know. colors. Look. You can't punish yourself like this. Maybe <laughs> they're all from his victims. You don't know his life. Pack leader. I was the one who made the choice, not him. <laughs> Thank He's you like, for participating, Wes. <laughs> I just held up my rings too. <laughs> that's that. That's that I'm goth punk look. Yeah, I was gonna say we're all these Let's goth punk this. bitches. <laughs> I know. I have considerably less bracelets though. I know. I need more bracelets. Up your game, B bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, okay. Hey, the pagan. Thank you for the two month sub. It's much appreciated. Thank you, Faye. We love you. I have to remember all the controls to this freaking game. Oh, yeah. Yes. Show me the cool forest spirit. Will not last Hi, buddy. He needs your help. Those things still somehow are a mood. I don't know why. Mm. Scott never got into wearing rings. Trust me, when you get like big signet rings, you suddenly you get into rings. Last, old Magnus. Your memory will stay with us. Always. Like, I wear rings so little, my wedding ring is one of those like silicon workout bands because I just never wear rings. Then I got a Malkavian signet ring. I have a pangolin ring. <laughs> like, it just, it's like any collection. They yeah, I've got slept for too long. Pentagram, Agvisir, and then a wolf. Viking wolf. They must oh, okay, I figured I'd pop in for a moment to see both the game and y'all's cuteness. Aww, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Faye. Find them. Oh, I forgot about, <laughs> I forgot about youth pastor tree, man. <laughs> and return to me. Uh, I have to appease more spirits again? What the hell? You know who appeased more spirits? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, I can't Pastor wait. Dan. I honestly cannot wait until uh, we're doing these streams in the same room. <laughs> you can't do shit about my comments when I'm over here. God, I know. <laughs> All right, thank you, Zach. Enjoy kicking Pentex's or in, you enjoy kicking vampire ass. We'll kick Pentex's ass. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Scott, I used to have a big fuck off knuckle protector ring back in the day, but it gets in the way of bass playing. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, when I play guitar, I take all my rings off. Is that it? Did I do? I did the. Th I did the thing. Okay. Oh, was that it? Apparently. <laughs> I, too, just need someone to talk to me to be appeased. <laughs> I forgot you move a lot faster in wolf form, so I'm just like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> wolf form is equal to sprint form. Yup. So how do you feel about the controls of this game? Um, they're very fluid. Once I turned off, like, auto-follow on the camera, super mm -hmm. easy. Super easy and straightforward. So are you controlling the camera, or...? Yeah, I'm controlling the camera with my mouse. Bear spirit. Oh, okay. Wake up. Kiri Fen's call. Okay, rocking that lipstick. Ellie. thank you. It's KVD Beauty, because I fuck Kat Von D. I love that she got outed from that company, can and the products are great. stalwart <laughs> allies. Damn it. Zach, uh, send me the link on Discord. I'll repost it. I gotta make yeah. I gotta give you VIP status. I think I can I do that? Uh, from my mod, you might from my be able side? Yeah, you might be able to. Maybe. I'm gonna go mad with power. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, Taking all the makeup notes. Tell them about the nail polish you got. Oh, so this nail polish that I got, uh, check this out. Uh, it's glittery on one of them, but it's more shiny. This is from Hollow Taco, which is, um, uh, what is her name? Simply Nail Logical from YouTube has her own nail polish company. And so this nail polish is one coat black. Like, quite literally, this is, it will, there are two, it's two coats on this hand because I fucked it up. But it's one coat on this hand. And then the ones that I did fuck up, I just put some of the, uh, like, very shiny, like, glitter top coat on top of it. It was such good nail polish. Holy crap. I, I was not prepared for how much I would like it. Okay, I don't know how to... How to do stuff <laughs> in this I, mod view. I can do my left hand perfectly. Because I'm right-handed, primarily. Uh, See, that's the problem, though. Uh -huh. It's my left hand that's fucked up. My right hand was like, I'm nervous. And then I got to my left hand, it was like, I'm just going to try. <laughs> um, Faye, I mean, girl, same to say when do nails perfect. So one of the things that um, Hollow Taco has, and that's H-O-L-O. -O, um, but one of the things Hollow Taco has is this, like, it's almost like a, like a silicon thing that you paint, like, around your nail. So then that way you can do whatever nail polish you want, and then you just peel it off, and so it's all actually on the... Yeah. Uh, no, taco as in, like, ama. Yeah. Here. I realized I could type that in chat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a bunch of cool stuff. They have, like, duochrome, and, like... I have, I have a thing for, like, if there's really nice YouTubers and they have their own brand of something... I like to check it out because, like, if I was buying nail polish from, like, Maybelline, Maybelline doesn't give a fuck about me. And they, if a Maybelline product sucks, then, like, who cares? Like, if I buy na Maybelline nail polish and it sucks, it, nobody's going to be like, oh, no. But um, buying from YouTubers, they tend to have better quality products because they actually, like, feel like they have something on the line to produce good quality stuff. So I like... I like I buying from YouTubers. I have a lot of like seemingly YouTuber Fox merch. Spirit. Your sleep. It's just like nice shirts and, and makeup. 
I hear you, warrior of Yo, Gaia. can Jack would be mad at you for and enabling my addiction? Awake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fed, I have enabled your addiction. Please, buy nail polish. Let's be nail polish friends. <laughs> yeah, I have absolutely no idea how to deputize someone. Ah. Uh, I'd have to look it up. I know how to time them out, ban, report, quick whisper. Uh, that might be the only things you actually have access to. I'm not sure. Boo. Yeah, I think I just I think I just have mod. I don't have admin, so I can't do it. You'll have to do it, but Zach will be VIP later. <laughs> I still can't get over how beautiful these graphics are, though. Like, they did. A, I, I don't know what people were complaining about. I think they did a damn good job of it. Me either. I, I think people have become too accustomed to AAA. They've become accustomed to water. Uh, <laughs> They've become accustomed to that uh, good, good Assassin's Creed water animation. Uh, Stag spirit. <laughs> Awaken. Help me fend to fight the worm. Thank I, you for yeah, you, I, the I know water you know animation. The fishy warrior of Gaia. Ifen can count on me. So, like, because I have the game audio turned down uh, so that I don't hear us twice, mm -hmm. I just heard that creepy ass whisper of Warrior of Gaia. It just, like, fucked with me for a second. <laughs> So, werewolf uh, imagery Wake question. Up. Do you mm. like you this kind call. of smoky, like, of confetti slumber. thing with the shift, or but do no you longer. like the rip-off flesh shift? Ethan can count on me. Personally? Yeah, just personally. Not, like, this game dependent, but personally with I per Personally, I prefer the, like, rip-off flesh. Oh, it's a little raccoon. Oh, mood. Um, I prefer the rip-off flesh version. Um, but I think hmm. the smoky thing fits better for the werewolf the apocalypse. Yeah, makes sense. So. I will say I some media that really like focuses hard on the like it takes you so long to change into a werewolf, obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Like where it's like we're gonna graphically show the long form, every bone in your body breaks and reforms and your whole body changes and your face yeah. grows out. No. Just... Yeah, no. Get buff for Gaia. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shredded for rage. Yup. That, that should be our next project. Let's, uh, let's buy a werewolf license and create a workout program. <laughs> You know what? Calm down for under <laughs> Calm down underworld. Yeah. God underworld. What do the water samples say? Exactly you ever you ever make before. white wolf so the mad? It's totally polluted. <laughs> it's a miracle anything can survive in there. <laughs> Send those results straight to Endrin's lab. At least we'll get some decent pay out of all this. Yeah, when um Earthblood was asking for people's let's plays and you shared ours. I was like, I don't think we're what they want. <laughs> no. We love y'all. what they're we... getting. <laughs> hey, all right. Underworld pissed off White Wolf. Oh yeah, Scott, so the you short version of that is Wonderworld. That's right. Of Wonderworld. Told me all Underworld about is a direct really. ripoff of World of Darkness that. and White Wolf sued them out the ass. The so that's why in the credits the of Underworld, there's a thank yeah, you to White right Wolf. Need anything else? Yup. It's my favorite you know nugget of there? trivia because every After time someone will be like, you don't like Underworld? <laughs> to anyone I know, I'll even just pop in with like, what White Wolf didn't either. They're still going to have a lot of resistance. They've even brought in some but of their let's be honest, Kate Beckinsale Nevada. in Pleather was an awakening huge. for all of us. I don't even know if you could call him human anymore. Mood. We've met, <laughs> but I had no idea they were from Nevada. Well, the training center you took out wasn't the only cart Endrin had in its hand. <laughs> Fay, <Faye, laughs> yep. <laughs> Every goth girl with any inclination towards women really. and discovering they have an inclination towards women just really glommed onto Underworld. Underworld. <laughs> a clean operation. 
That didn't make the bosses happy, though. They told me to falsify yeah, evidence no one can to bring deny it down. And sale. That's when I realized they were in Andret's pocket. Nah. I tried I pulling them the out, first but one. the whole precinct came down on me like a ton I, of So I have fun with I them. I have no choice but to I have run. a lot of fun with them. And I rent it. I, I tend to... I I'll enjoy to a bad Andrew. movie if it's fun. You well, it's just like in Bill Nagy. You know it's just like, you're working with, sure, right? I'll be an agent this vampire and just a dick the entire movie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you are. Ava told us everything. Uh, Nick is saying, Ian, you've Trust forgotten me, about our games together. We're all on the same side here. We're fighting for the survival of the planet. I'm sorry, Nick. Whatever the cost. <laughs> I haven't completely forgotten. I know we wanted to do Dead Space and Resident Evil. <laughs> Dead Space See? 3. See? See, I'm claiming him for Resident Evil Village, though, because, I like, be I'm a scaredy cat, Before but I want to see I Tall Vampire test. Wife. We've identified a key player working at the dam. I want you to cosplay we Tall Vampire Wife. Think she's got information so. on I will cosplay Tall Vampire body. Wife her name's to, Victoria to troll you we while you, you stream question it. Her. So get whatever info wife. out of her you can. Keeping Shut up! safe is my top priority here, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'm 5'4", but my Kyle. spirit is 9'6". <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Nick, Dead Space 3, 100%. Quiet okay, Scott. Okay, Ellie, do it. <laughs> Scott. Quiet Scott. <laughs> you should watch the RE3 stream I did. Say the word fuck 97 times. Ellie is an ender dragon in disguise. I want to believe that. I really want to believe that. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it, it is actually the uh, four year anniversary as of today of my Parthenax tattoo because oh. I am Skyrim trash. <laughs> it's four or three years. It's today's the anniversary of it. It might be three years, hmm. but he's still, he's still looking good. I want to play Resident Evil Village dressed as tall vampire lady. I mean, See, I don't want to. I don't want to play it because I don't want to play Village dressed as vampire waifu because I'm a scaredy cat. I'm pretty sure that I'm was that was Nick saying he wanted to dress up as tall vampire do lady. Do it. I'm, do it, Nick. Nick, you know what? Nick, please. Nick, I. You can stream Resident Evil Village if you cosplay tall. Big titty vampire wife. I, I support this one hundred percent. You can stream that on Gehenna Gaming as much as you want. I'll I'll teach you how to do the makeup. We'll teach you how to contour your chachis so that they look even bigger. What's with all the vampire chat on this werewolf stream? Because we brought up Resident Evil. <laughs> the guardian spirits are among Forgot us I completed his quest again. and didn't come back to him. Bye. For as much as I joke about the uh, good old Yifin here is posed like a youth pastor, I actually like greatly love this design. It's awesome. Like, I everything about this design is just otherworldly. I appreciate that he actually has zero crotch. No crotch exists on this thing. There is a hole there. I, you know what? Yep. Brilliance in de Brilliance in design said. We know you nasty fuckers. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Just, just Yeah, there's nothing. 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 I mean, his it's head is hole. basically a giant eye, so. He's watching. He's watching you look at his crotch. <laughs> he's like, what you looking at? <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna Norman read us you after a bit where he just sucker punches you. <laughs> uh... I don't know why random random compliment to this game i just like the the highway with the highway sign mm -hmm. this world feels very real in the sense of like one of the problems of rpgs and things like that is they tend to forget that in the real world there's a bunch of stuff like laid over each other so you will have a highway going through a forest next to a dam like mm -hmm. The real world is not, like, this could easily be, like, one big forest level, and then you go to a skyscraper level. Instead, they're all kind of, like, commingled, and I really love that about their world building. Well, and that's one of the things that we were talking about offline was, like, this, this, this is gorgeous, and I can just wander around and explore. There's no reason to in-game. I'm just doing it right now to showcase it. But, like, yeah. look at how expansive this is for no reason. Because <laughs> nothing happens over here. Maybe something will happen later in the game. Ooh, that's that's that has a life. Scott, I, that might that might hurt me. 
Scott, the moon in the background is heckin' gorgeous! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Scott, I don't know if I told you I did finish season two. Yeah, he finished Black Chapel. Yep. So I just have to... Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't Scott's listen to... Scott's so excited to the Darla voice. Uh, I, I, honestly, I loved it. Season two was... Like... Compare, like comparing them, it's better. But there's such different stories that I thought season two. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm talking about the podcast Blood Crow Stories, which um, Ellie created and Scott here, uh, Groob, Groovis for Life, is the audio producer on. Um, and Scott, I agree. Black Chapel has a piece of my soul as well. Yeah, it it was really well done. I Black Chapel was such an art piece. For the both of us that i just you i know, love it so much you know what i just realized though huh i was planning on listening to season three I the civilians taking reading during my drive for my move warn the commander? oh i'll still listen to They're it okay us. nothing to worry about from them <laughs> we were in we were in such a whirlwind making season three that like I personally have not gotten to enjoy that season on my own. Like, I haven't gotten to just listen to season three and enjoy it. Perfect. Scott, it was the greatest season I'll never want to produce again. Yeah, Black Chapel was a lot. Yeah, I can imagine, honestly. This seems like a very wholesome and non raging werewolf stream. I approve. Thank you, Pizza Heretic. Where it's probably about to rage. I don't know why you keep trying to do the sneaky sneak. It's not going to work out for you. Because of the good power. Because the big ass fucking power. Yeah, so were you just about to say Sigourney Weaver? Yeah, Sigourney <laughs> Weaver is about to gank your ass. I know. Uh, I don't think there is a way for me to do this without. No, I think that's there specifically for you to fight it. Because what else are you going to do? Where where are you gonna go? Hold on, I want to see if I can do this without getting caught. Ooh. Ooh. Wait for it! Wait for it! I'm waiting. Uh, yep. Nope. He saw me. Yeah, Hi. No shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> wee woo wee woo. <laughs> Play the only thing that cures you by Mick Gordon. <laughs> I have to be careful. Like I keep uh, on streams, I keep accidentally saying um, specific home devices names. Uh oh. Ooh. ooh. Uh, one of my favorite things though was when um, there is a. There's a podcast on Post, and when they had their card game come out, one of them said a word, Ooh. order million dollars by, and the, it only puts it in your cart when you say that, but that was so funny. to have Gehenna Gaming merch on um, Amazon so that I can do that. Just midstream. You to know say what? A word. A word. Order Gehenna Gaming t-shirt. You know, I would love that. Get some of that sweet, sweet Amazon money back from them, because I know they take enough of it from our Twitch subs, so. God, right? Success. Ellie, I'm doing my nails now. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Do your nails. Yet. Treat yourself. Finish the inventory. We lost a lot of them in the training center attack, but we have enough to hold this. Love to have like a girls' night arrives. stream one time. That's just me and Faye just shooting the shit, doing our hair <laughs> and our nails. I like doing it. Doing some makeup, but we're like talking like horror games. Hell yeah! <laughs> like, fucked up shit the whole time. Cryptids. Do it. Do it. An extended conversation about the Flatwoods monster. Do it. Purdy Vampire Stream win. Look, 
Look. Whenever we get fully set up. I just completed an entire room with stealth. There were only two people in it, but I did it. Look. <laughs> I'm I'm proud of you that you were able to do your ABCs on kindergarten level, but come on. I ate too much granola and now my teeth feel like granola. <laughs> I don't know. Ask Nikki. No, she'll just take my teeth. I know. Might as well have a little drink. This is extra whiskey here. Game promotes alcoholism. Actually, technically, I would think it doesn't promote alcoholism if it's like, if you drink, you're gonna rage. <laughs> yeah, right. You know as soon as I <laughs> Which is actually no, quite accurate. Like, she's not going to take her teeth anyway. Exactly. I'm going to have to put it in my will if I die with my mouth intact. Like, if I don't, like, burn up in a, uh, you know, vampire attack. Yep. So I've understood as I never need to take out my teeth around her face. <laughs> she would, she would be like, do you need those? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> that actually, is that actually booze for the Fiona or some other kind of tincture? It's booze, oh, God and it. and I don't understand why. Yeah, it's it's whiskey. Yep. Which uh, booze and a fiana doesn't really mix for me personally, but no. uh, you know what? Oh. No, I mean you know, I imagine even a fiana would be like. We just gotta get this shit, did. Yeah. This truck was destroyed when Major Grainer's squadron attacked. Well, that's a stereotype they kept around. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with it? Yeah. You should be tequila if you want true race. Just say. I'm saying you. There are reasons I don't drink anymore, and those reasons are called vodka. Vodka me wants to go on adventures, and will get very angry about completing those adventures. I mean. No, vodka me winds up on roofs of buildings I should not be on. And that's why I'm sober. <laughs> uh, Inferno NL, it's really not. Honestly, graphics are great. Like, for not being a... Tri for, for, we, we say this a lot. So, so apologies to the people who have heard us say it nine times. It's not a AAA game. Yeah. I did not spend sixty dollars on this game. I do not. Ex I did not expect sixty dollars graphics. Plain yeah, simple. This game does not look rough. This game looks beautiful. Or yeah, for what it is. I am happy with it. And especially in the games field, and as someone who has worked in the games field, uh, I really very much would like to see what kind of graphics people can pull off. Um, I am casting a shadow. A lot of things are casting shadows. Yeah. Yeah, unlike most AAA games, this game's actually finished. This game's in a better condition than Cyberpunk, that's for damn sure. Yo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that power loader's coming for you. I also have my graphics turned down slightly. Um, for the stream. Yeah, the graphics are turned down so that we can provide you a better stream. So if this is how it looks turned down, then maybe we give some clemency to a studio that actually put together a really good game, which is becoming rarer and rarer from AAA titles. Turned down for what? Oh, yeah, just jump right into the spotlight. Listen, listen. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> you shush. Alright, um, where am I going? I mean, you think it looks off, but also that can be the fact that we have turned down our graphics so that we can provide you with a good stream of the game's content. And this game is not expensive, and especially considering that, you know, we all paid 60 plus dollars for Cyberpunk, and you see where we got. 
So I think paying 30 some odd for a game that so far has been very fun and very lovely, I think that's more than fair. Oh. 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 Oh, that guy. I'm trapped. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Never mind, I don't got this. You say dated, but the thing that you're using to define, like, progression and age in gaming are AAA titles that have a bigger budget, bigger studio, and force their employees to go through crunch yep. to get it done, and sometimes it doesn't even actually get it done. I should have laid off the whiskey, you are correct. I'll take a complete game with solid graphics and no bloody glitches. Exactly. We haven't had a single glitch. Mm -hmm. Plot's been really great. Ooh, it's on. fun. That's all that matters. Where to just dump me? Okay. What happened with that surviving recruit? Hex. Surviving I have to redo part of this. I shot him. Like at some point, shitting on the game's graphics is really just superfluous, because it's all going to come down to: Did you have fun, and did you get thirty-five dollars worth of enjoyment out of a game? And if thirty-five dollars of enjoyment is only looking at graphics for you, I mean, if that's your life, cool, cool, cool. But that's not why a game was made. It was made to provide you with an entertaining experience. And this game does that. So I consider it a win. Exactly. Yeah. And honestly, this gameplay is great. Um, uh, what did I just... Controls are really smooth. Yeah. The control, it, it controls a lot like uh, the Batman Arkham games. Um, mm -hmm. With... Hmm. Yeah. This truck was destroyed. I haven't run into any of those issues. The camp. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with it? I'm do I'm not surprised. Nothing like that. They only want DNA yeah, I'm sure that everybody it's is gonna experience some weirdness just because also that's the nature of anything electronic. Mm -hmm. As I said, as someone who has worked in the game industry, there is no such thing as a glitchless game. Exactly. That is a foolhardy dream. Exactly. But having ones that aren't like straight up just game ruiners or bad shit. That's good. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a. Oh. I took those guys out faster last time. Yeah. Yeah, like the story, meh, but the gameplay, fantastic. I'm having fun. That's the thing, too. People also forget that what to have, like, a big involved plot and a bunch of shit, you know what you have to be able to do? Hire a lot of writers! Now, sit tight. That's Dismissed. getting into AAA territory. Or that's getting into visual novel territory, where the primary focus is the writing. Mm -hmm. And if you want a brilliantly written werewolf game, I highly recommend Heart of the Forest. Yep. I really do. That game has Earth Blood beautiful writing. and Heart of the Forest provide two very different experiences. Mm-hmm. If you want a beautifully written werewolf game that contains a lot of the lore and contains a very moving experience, like how I personally have played werewolf, Heart of the Forest is for you. But if you like the raging and action aspects of werewolf, Earthblood is for you. And that's very important to realize that the way that we consume tabletop RPG is not the same person to person. Exactly. And so a game that isn't particularly heavy on its plot and story there are people that play werewolf that em enjoy that mm -hmm. I personally check out of TTRPG streams uh, particularly D&D ones when they get to battles unless it's like a particularly interesting battle I just don't care about that I care about the RP no. 
because I've had an entire lifetime in World of Darkness. But I know some people, they just prefer to do dungeon crawls. They don't want to RP the whole time. We all consume these games differently. I'm just going to peace out of that room. Wish a little more WTA lore would have made it into the gameplay. Would have been nice to fight with the glaive, visit the Umbra, or maybe craft talents for a crossbow instead of a generic upgrade. That, yeah. you're getting it. You're getting into bigger studio. Yeah. Bigger studio, more resources to create things like that. Mm -hmm. Cause like arguably, um, the places that I have worked for would be considered small time and still had like three hundred people there. Mm -hmm. But the way that you start dividing up everybody and into their jobs, because some people will see like Oh, 300, 300 employees. That's a that's a big game studio. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Three hundred people is a tiny, tiny, tiny studio. Ava, yep. I'm at the entrance to the site. Now you can probably look up how many people are working on this down below. I'll give you the targets once you're successful right. enough to Try warrant to a careful. sequel with a bigger budget. Don't worry, but it's not this isn't my like first that'll be the case. It doesn't seem to be reviewing well in general. See, exactly. that was that's my hope too. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, and part of the difference and boon and bane that comes with smaller studios is a smaller studio is usually more willing to take a risk on something again that they believe in, whereas a big studio won't. Exactly. A AAA studio, if a game completely bombs and they don't think they can make money off of it again, they'll, they'll nix it. But smaller studios get a lot more leeway in saying but we really believe in this so we can do more and that's kind of what I hope for this same don't need that uh, you, don't, you do not need to be drinking <laughs> actual life advice I mean. Scott, whereas I tend to favor battles, I also enjoy RPing. Yeah, and Scott, um, Scott is in my D&D campaign, and I know Scott gets more excited when we have a massive battle, so that's my job as a DM, to balance how many battles we're doing versus how many roleplay scenes we're doing. At the same time, the metrics for an indie title is going to be far different than a AAA title. Exactly. Like... The metrics of success for indie Bring titles are not always rooted in reviews and money. Often, especially with smaller uh, studios, usually they look at did they build a community from it, and if they build a excited community, then that translates more into uh, generating revenue. Because if you build the community that wants to be a part of your studio and wants to support you. Like, this is good. I know. What was the studio for this again? Cyanide. They also did the Call of Duty game, which, again, we also got negative reviews and I fucking loved. Yeah. Which edition is this? Jesus. Cyanide Studios has 110 employees. Yeah. And that's employees. Mm -hmm. That's like technical support, HR, managers. So think a small fraction of that is what made this game. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We're Which edition is this, Scott? Are you asking if okay. this is like fifth Let's edition go. werewolf stuff? Because that hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Honestly, they're not using enough actual game mechanics for this to be an edition. It's just based on the lore. Mm hmm. What's a triple A studio you would think of? Uh, Ubisoft, Bethesda. Um... Yeah, here we go. I, I just want to put it in perspective. Um, yeah. Like employee count. Yeah, so so to give you an idea, because Bethesda is actually shockingly, though they are considered a AAA studio, they are a small studio. They have four hundred employees. Yeah. yeah. Four hundred people at Bethesda make all oh. that. Uh no, this is the standard game edition. Um the 
the only thing that I saw different for the Champion of Gaia one was the skins, which I didn't care about for this. Uh, let me see. Ubisoft Game Studio. Ubisoft runs about 14,000 people across all their companies. 40 studios. So yeah, when Ubisoft has something with bad graphics, they rarely do. But like when, um, uh, which was the Assassin's Creed that was garbage? Uh, Unity? When Unity happened, that's why people were so unforgiving of it, because it was a big studio. But mistakes happen. But like, 110 people, one fourth the size of Bethesda put this together. Mm -hmm. Fucking good on you, man. They for focused on the parts of the game that mattered, yeah. Like, mechanically, mm -hmm. this game is incredibly smooth. It functions great. I have no problems with it. Story All the is fine. Could be better, could be worse. All the technical mm -hmm. aspects of this game are right there. The Krenos does look phenomenal. Shifting into Krenos, you look really cool. It feels really organic. You are a murder machine. Like, yeah. You can't really compare it. Perhaps I'll pay her a visit. Uh, I appreciate the inclusion of Hispo later, even if it's never mentioned by name. Yeah. There are a couple of Lord Beasts that weird me out a little, though. <laughs> I mean, most of, most of the lore in Werewolf weirds me out. Werewolf has yeah. always been, like, really intense for me. That's fair. It is very intense. That's why I play as a glass walker. <laughs> Just let me let me go home to my skyscraper. You would. Hey, Scott, you just bought it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, you'll enjoy it, Scott. Plus, you look like the guy, so. Yup. Get buff for Gaia. I would say let's make that a new Twitch stream, but I can't work out on Twitch. I can't let y'all see me struggle. <laughs> I can't let y'all see what I call a push-up. There's not enough bald good guy representation in game, right? Like, what do you get? Like, rude and hitman? That's it? I just took out one guy with a crossbow, and I'm looking at how many people are in here, and I'm going, you know what? Fuck that. We <laughs> we're gonna rage. <laughs> yeah. Kratos, yeah, Kratos. Is good Ooh, he has a flamethrower. Oh, Shit. <laughs> like I just goes <laughs> with the flamethrower like it's, like it's the fucking old west. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, I have two moods. I have time for this and I don't have time for this. And Ellie has seen me drive and knows what one of those moods looks like. <laughs> There's a reason I stay on my phone when you drive. I just, I just don't look. The self in this game is pretty uninspired, to be honest. So yeah, I, I agree with my, that. My thought with the stealth, um, because I feel like, similar to your comment, they they put the work in where it mattered. Ooh. I I really feel like yeah, they okay. they looked at the fact that they were making a they were making a werewolf game and knew. They knew that we were gonna rage. They knew we were gonna enjoy this part of the game more than stealthing. Because if you stealth through this whole game, that wasn't the game point. Like, no. so I just feel like when you prioritize your resources as a small game studio, where are people gonna have the most fun? Raging. Exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, hell, I have that same experience with Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla. Trying to play Valhalla like a regular Assassin's Creed game and stealth through everything, annoying. Annoying. Like, it's just, it's not fun. Doing, playing Valhalla like a Viking action game, extremely satisfying. Mm -hmm. I've actually been having a lot of fun doing it like a normal stealth game, but... Uh, the dialogue trees are literally meaningless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dialogue, dialogue trees 
go in one of two schools. Um, it's either illusion of choice because it lets you, the player, you feel more connected to your character because you had a say in what they were saying, or they are actual dialogue trees. And speaking from experience, trying to write dialogue trees, oh, big wolf. It's, it's a lot. Trying to write dialogue trees takes about six times longer than just writing a script. They are very annoying. I I have a visual novel game that is in development hell and will be forever because it's taken two years to write like one third of the script because of dialogue options. And also because it's just me. Hall mid area. Yep, as long as they don't change into lup lupus form, I will not be detected. Even though you look highly suspicious in this room. I totally look like a scientist. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did y'all see the KH is going it Victoria Kingdom Bones. Hearts? That's right. If you want something be quick about it. I don't know what I'm you busy. mean by KH you anyway. is going to Epic. Hmm. Oh my god, Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. Well, Ian, I know what we're going to do. We're going to play Kingdom Hearts on stream. Yeah, we are. Uh, are you familiar with Lambda Mankind? At full price, more or less, Another mind you. You know what? Kingdom Hearts can take my money a second well, time. I am trash. I'm working. I was a teenager when it came out. I'm still trash. It's fine. <sighs> There, there's a part of my heart that will always still be like very dedicated to Kingdom Hearts and very much loving it, even though I know it's you gone completely off the rails. Excuse me. Kingdom Hearts 3 plus DLC. Hell yeah, I will you think that scares me? ride those glittery teacups to me. kill Hades. Let's we'll do it. <laughs> I, we said you wanted to talk, right? Let's talk. Tell me everything you know about Endrin's biofuel. It's just fuel, made from a clean mixture of vegetable oils and chemical compounds. That's Honestly, a lie. Honestly, I can't wait for Mass Effect Legendary I'm Edition. Don't I kind of, I, you I want live, to try Legendary Edition, right um, just because I'm not a Mass are? Effect person. Do anything and I'll scream. Um, for how much I love space, like in real life, I very much would have been no an aerospace engineer as a kid. Now. Um, Work with me space here. games just don't do it for me never have an arrangement um that's right like i i i played you star really citizen for maybe like a week all on my own? i played no man's I've sky like twice hackers in the country yeah, um, i couldn't so. get into that one one word space games just don't do it for me mass effect Victoria never did it for me and i'm secrets and i love dragon age though so i'm kind of hoping with legendary edition that they've given it a little bit of junkies tweak and a little bit of love and i'm willing to try it again i can't imagine engine would just be willing to give it a shot i hated the vehicle controls so much the minute i got to having to actually drive around for a mission i was like i'm done is that the chemical compounds i can't do this unusual and when the test first began some animals exposed to the exhaust fumes changed. They became more resistant. Oh, yeah, the vehicle more sucked. Aggressive. Yeah, I couldn't do it. That's when they started talking no about vehicle the sucks more than the gummy ship in Kingdom Hearts. On humans. I wouldn't so, know. I never played them. We started to test on. Well, prisoners. guess what? Yeah. Why do yeah. you do this to me? I thought you loved me. <laughs> I do. That's why I do it to you. I have to make you play Kingdom Hearts. What what You've fun is it if I don't? torture you just a little bit we'll just I do like a one night stream i'll like pick it up in the middle like you just uh, i'll do. let you play in an area in that, that you'll be interested find everything in on my Fair computer. Enough. give me the badge to your office if i do don't bully gummy ship let me go okay hear me out i love the gummy <laughs> ship i love the gummy ship again. my gummy ship is Got modded it. to yeah. hell and back it's indestructible Ava, it's also a garbage a system <laughs> Just because I can navigate the system doesn't mean it's good. It usually means it's bad if I understand it. I we got to try um, oh, the Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Uh, we got to try the Kingdom Hearts three demo uh, when I was in Orlando, uh, like two months before it came out. Uh, and it was, it was amazing. It was just. <laughs> now you're right, I, I have all the stickers of area. Oh. Now you're right, it's trash. 
<laughs> gummy ship is trash, but gummy ship is fun. I I feel like we as gamers, um, and this is existential. I feel like we as gamers have stopped just enjoying games as games. Oh yeah. I mean, look at the fact that we're streaming this <laughs> instead of just playing it on our own. But uh, well, I was become so that. I was explaining that part to someone um, earlier today. My problem with playing games on my own is I don't finish them. If I stream yeah. them, I'm obligated to finish the game for the viewers. Yeah. Oh, I'm terrible. When we, when we do Skyrim, that's going to be an exercise in torture right. for me because I'm just going to try and get us through story mode so that all of y'all can enjoy Ian making fun of me during Skyrim and mm -hmm. telling me to pick up every basket. I'm going to make her not play a Khajiit. That's not fair. <laughs> you can't make me... Play not a Khajiit. Fine, then I play lizard folk. I'm fine with that. You are a lizard. I'll play. It's acceptable. I'll play Argonian. I'll be the lusty Argonian maid. Which you don't know is a fun reference. You told me. Yeah. Alright. I know Kahal is supposed to be Fiana, but he doesn't feel like Fiana. Feels more like a get. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get. I, I was saying that um, during our first part of this. I don't feel like he's Fiana at all. What did I say? But. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know why I'm still yeah, yawning. Like the data. Uh, We're good. Um, that data is just what we need. Well, that... Like, with the Fianna versus Get and everything, like, I, I also do kind of feel like we have to call some of our own kind of um, stereotypes about the about the tribes in so I just into the play. Because um, we even get that with Vampire. Yeah. Like, what do you mean a Bruja that wrong? doesn't have a leather jacket? Like, because we have a Bruja on ATL by Night who's a CNN correspondent, and she cares expect. more about, like, actual political stuff, and something people think she's strange. a Ventrue. I'll have to it's look like, into it. you were embraced by your clan for a reason, but that doesn't make you into a stereotype. And that's the same, like, with Werewolf. Like, you were born a Fianna, but... That doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be just like the Fianna. Mm-hmm. You can be a hippie and be a glass walker. Yep. You can be a black spiral dancer that actually just, you know, is a cutesy little e-girl. Think about it. It'd be terrifying. God damn it. Look, I've I'm still mean, mad. The I've been meaning I'm to run a werewolf game, and I kind of want that to happen. <laughs> I, I will play a black spiral dancer that's an e-girl. Exactly. E-girls are ruining your life. Choke me like you hate me. <laughs> oh, corpse. God, could you imagine him playing werewolf? What clan are you? Oh my I don't know. The one with the deepest voice. So get. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You be get. Oh. It's because older editions push the t the stereotype uh, or being part of a family. Yeah, like, that's part of why I like when people break the stereotype. Because also, just because you were raised in a family a that's like that doesn't mean terminal. you will stay like that. Like, How are you doing with <laughs> hello, black sheep of the family. I have six siblings. How many of them do you think are goth vampires? Zero. <laughs> Oh, you Rod think uh, Corpse would be Are Shadow Lord because they're all about present? I could see Corpse as a Shadow Lord. Yeah, that's a mood. You know what? Got, right, it now. would be great to get him we'll in on a TTRPG soon. podcast. Oh, so reach just out. out of, just out of protection of his face. Yeah. Yeah, but that involves putting together a podcast. Um, I have one. <laughs> uh, I the, literally in production as we speak. <laughs> Teach corpse to play werewolf 2K21. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. I'm in. I'm in for that. Bless his heart. He's got so much going heart. on though. I feel so. I I feel bad for that kid sometimes. Yeah. Just cause skyrocketing to stardom that quickly. No like, more podcast, Ellie. No more podcast, Ellie. Yeah, Scott she, knows. She's allowed to do Scott a podcast knows. if uh, I if she's not producing it. Yeah, I'm allowed to be on a podcast. I'm just not allowed to make them. Uh, hot button topic though, you ever let your players play lupus? Yes. 
Yeah. Absolutely no problem with it. I haven't I haven't story told uh, Werewolf. I've only played a few times, but I had somebody in my um, what's the werewolf term for coterie? Pack. My pack. Uh, I keep confusing that because of the sabbat. I had somebody in my pack that was um, that was lupus, and I was glasswalker, and we were not friends. Nope, you wouldn't be. I know nothing of werewolf. But I'd love to learn about it. Scott, you you'd like Scott, it. Scott, you would you would have more fun with werewolf than you would with vampire. Yeah. I guarantee. Oh yeah. Guarantee. Like I think with vampire Scott, you would enjoy Bruja, but you would want to like you would want to play like Sabat. You would want to play Sabat, or uh, when the battle royale game comes out, Scott, you and I are gonna like fucking go ham on that game. We're gonna be streaming that. Uh, d hell yeah, we are. Because I want to kill some motherfuckers. <laughs> we we are gonna. A lot of GMs refuse to let their players run with this because they feel no one does the role of justice and like their general lack of knowledge of the modern world complicates social situations too much. Yeah. So, as someone who is a career Malkavian player, I get it. Like. Let's do this thing. But at the same time, I personally, I feel that it is my job as a storyteller. To help you play what you want to play better. Like, it's not my job to tell you how to play this, but if you want to play Lupus and you want to play that outdated idea, then that's my job as a storyteller if you're struggling with it to help you do it better. Exactly. Nope. Oh. Scott, I feel like I'd be a gangrel like Alpha, <laughs> the prince from ATL. Yeah. Uh, because he he does not like a lot of princely duties. I don't know what you're talking about. Who plays Gangrel? Only weirdos play Gangrel. Oof. Oh, only weirdos with one bar of dope. Thank you, Scott. I have hydrated, and you also need to hydrate. All right. Raging. Oh, let me frenzy this will be faster. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that's a quote from like right before destruction in both <laughs> werewolf and vampire. Let me frenzy, it'll be faster. My favorite builds in uh revised and 20th anniversary are uh controlled frenzy builds, so. Yeah. That's why I love uh in original bloodlines uh like if i knew i was gonna frenzy i would just crawl into an air vent like a nearby air vent <laughs> because when you're in the air vent and you're just crouched there it'll just say frenzy fail frenzy fail frenzy fail frenzy fail until it runs out on the timer i feel like malkavian's the sort of rule you really have to research heavily i feel like malkavian um speaking as, 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 long as I malkavian Speaking as the resident Malkavian, uh, because I've played probably about 25 Malkavians over my lifetime. Uh, one character I've played for 16 straight years. Um, I feel like Malkavians are very easy to get wrong. They're very easy to do inappropriately and offensively. Um, but I always have little tips to help people play Malkavians and avoid becoming a fish. Um, one being, if you play your Malkavian completely kooky all the time, that's gonna get really annoying, it's gonna get offensive, it's gonna get just old hat really quickly. It's boring. It's boring to play someone who's, ooh, I'm so Luna love good to 11, 24 seven. That's not fun for anyone. Pick three things that will make you go nuts. Like I have a, um, I have a Malkavian who is former military, and because I'm from a military town, I have a lot of military-based triggers for her. Otherwise, she's fine. She's awkward in social situations, but in militaristic situations like Camarilla Court, she actually excels, and she's very outgoing and very outspoken. So it's just more about pick. Pick three things that will set you off, three things that are weird about you, and keep to only those. Otherwise, you just go off the rails. 
Hello, puppy lover. We are playing werewolf, and we are talking how to build a Malkavian that isn't offensive. Also, don't ever base your Malkavian on a specific right mental health Major issue. Orders. Just but this don't. turbine needs to work to ensure an optimal level of energy for the fracking site. Unless you have problem. that mental health issue. Take it up with the major if you Unle Unless that's actually like your life experience, don't base it on that. Yeah. I'm more familiar with werewolf than vampire. Ma Malkavians are considered the crazy clan, but it's really just they have a different perception of reality, which goes like very close with uh, mental health. What? But Jim. if you're cognizant of it, oh, bye, scientists. Yeah, somebody in one server called me Mama Malk, like Mama Malkavian, and I was just like, oh, that's, I, I want to be the Malkavian elder. I'm already the Justicar of Flaming Hot Cheetos. It's true. I heard, like, basically Malkavians are bombarded with information and are constantly struggling to parse which of that information mm -hmm. is real or not. Yeah. Yep. Um, the Malkavians have something called the Madness Network, which means they're connected to, like, so you know how scientifically we know that all the... Um, television programs that we watch are because it's a bunch of television it's a bunch of signals that are being beamed from satellites and then down to your tv imagine if you could just see all of that all the time it's way too much nobody can handle that so it's definitely a malkavians are overwhelmed with their power and you just work through that overwhelm And I've helped so many people with uh, sensitivity reading their Malkavian characters. Just because it's a very fun plan. It's a very dangerous plan. People have no idea. Oh, yeah. Malkavians are. They're one of my favorites. Even before, you know, you. <laughs> I was gonna say, if they weren't before me, they sure are now. So, like, Batman Forever Riddler. Uh, not far off. Yeah. Batman Forever Riddler would be a Malkavian. Yep. Definitely. I think any addition of the Riddler would be a Malkavian. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like, oh, the Joker, and I'm like, no. No. The Joker's no, no, like no. a the Sabat. The Joker is just Sabat. Of the some Joker form. The Joker I would put as a uh, Bruja into Tribu Sabat. Hmm. Well, mood. Alright, so that was not the right way for me to go, so I gotta figure this out. Oh, uh, Puppy Liver, once I catch up on ATL, I may ask for your advice for the server. Yeah, absolutely. Hit me up. We talk about it right now for all I care. I'm just trying to figure out where I need to go. <laughs> well, they, uh, she said to catch up on ATL first because we have so much going on in the city. Ah, uh, yes, you do. Yeah. They're dealing with Sabat right now. Oh, you got stuff on the other side that you can climb in. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have to go this way. Yeah, this area is confusing. I will say the only oh. thing, and I don't know if our cameras are covering it or not, so I can't see it, what? is the lack of a game map. Uh, there is no map. Oh, shit. I don't like that, but I know that no map is sometimes more realistic, and it's a realism that people strive for. Yeah. But... Personally, because I'm very visual and get lost super easy, I need a map. <laughs> Imagine Riddler wearing his hat and siphoning the thoughts and brain powers of little citizens of Gotham watching his program. Exactly. <gasps> like on ATL, we had a uh, Malkavian that convinced four second inquisition officers to go up to the roof of a building, post a selfie of themselves all together, and then walk off the roof of the building. What? So that caused the cops to start investigating their life and investigate the second inquisition. Yep. Yeah, Georgina. Georgina's a lot of fun. She's... Having a Malkavian as a scourge is one of my favorite decisions I've made in, in the lore. She's fun. She's very fun. She just wants to she just wants to cosplay and have a good time. I love these random crossbow bolts that are just like hanging out. Yep. Like why do y'all have these?
they're all super sus, but they don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> they're they're like, what are time you to find out. <laughs> yeah, just just rage. Because it's very muddy, there's just too much happening, and they don't know how to like optimize how the camera functions. Like I'll say this about the game for for any complaints that we have about it. If I were a brand and I was looking for someone to make a cost-effective but good game mm -hmm. of my brand. I would hire Cyanide. Yeah, they've like, done a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job with Call of Cthulhu. I think they did a good That's the job last with this game. Sorted. That's my thing is sometimes I look at it as okay. would I as a brand hire them for my product? Mm -hmm. and the answer is yes. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Go home. It's time to withdraw. I'll tell Rocco. I've identified a vehicle exit. I'll open it for you. I feel like they did do a really good job with like yes. familiarizing themselves with the lore. Yeah, yeah, even if they didn't map the lore a hundred percent, they understood it and they made it apparent in the game. Yeah, and honestly, that's that's what you can hope for, and that's why I'm glad all the World of Darkness games right now are being made by smaller studios, because mm -hmm. like, like I I'm a slut for Ubisoft. This is known about me. Like fucking, I have an Abstergo tattoo. Um, but I would not want Ubisoft to make a werewolf game because the sheer amount of time and love and dedication that would go into needing it to be true to the material to make sure that quality matches expectation of players, uh, I just don't think they can. I, I don't think the heart would be there the same way. Like a small studio. Like, I think sometimes indie movies, um, for video games are extremely good and a big studio just doesn't have that love for it. I am nervous about the Borderlands movie. I'm on a roller coaster of emotions with announcements with it. Like they'll announce something, I'm like, hell yeah! And then the next announcement, I'm like, no! And then the next one, yes! And the next one, no! definitely have to talk. I figure out how to make it work. I hmm. like stress to never yawn on streams, but here it's like, ah, you guys are getting regular us. <laughs> I yawn so much. Oh, fuck. Go. Now you got me doing it. <laughs> uh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't know. Can you open that big bay door? No, I don't think so. Elevator? Uh, uh, -uh. Right, There's no way out of this room. I guess I just went the wrong way. I mean, kill people. No, I think you've got to go through the door on the other side. Nope. But I don't know how. No.
Also, we have the delay, so when I say the door on the other side, I'm realizing you have no idea what I'm talking about. <sighs> this will be much. This will. This will be much more fun for people when uh, we're physically in the same room, and I'm going go over there. Yep. Go there. <laughs> I was right, elevator. Yep. It was just hidden. Elevator. Why can I not stop yawning? It is 9 p.m. <laughs> I've reached grandma phase already. I do hope you know, Rav, I expect you to wear the ring from the bath bomb you use. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh we'll put we'll put you a manly viking ring in a in a little thing and we'll make you a manly bath bomb manly bombs Ma ma manly manly bath bomb it sounds like i'm making jokes on to toxic masculinity which he does not have it's just funny i've requested the reports on endron's new biofuel from nevada now you can forget it only Victoria Vokes knows huh? anything about it. If you ask her, she'll tell it you helps if I actually open the picture. That's classified. Yeah, behind the scenes, for right. anyone who watches my other streams, I have a pitcher of water at all times. Because I drink a ridiculous amount of water when I'm on stream. You should. Unless it's ATL. And then I just have my little glass uh, at the studio with me. A manly bath bomb. Smells like oil and whiskey. See, you say your that, big, but I your would... Your big dad redeemed hydrate. You say that, but I would use a bath bomb that smelled like whiskey. Ugh. Listen, don't judge me. No, I got you the one that smells like campfires. You did. That one I can handle. You did. I can tell you're focused, you're Kubrick staring again. I was stealthing. Dad. Yeah? Oh, back. something bad's gonna happen. Too, <laughs> oh no. He's having a heart to heart with his daughter, something bad's gonna happen. Hey, Dad? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Dad, can you pick me up from soccer practice? Sorry, honey, I'm Wolf. Mood. I love how those shots of the cameras were just actual camera shots of the camera. Yep. And not with the camera can see. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> like, just checking. Oh, well, nope. Just checking, are you there? Alright, bye. Time. Really, dude? Ooh. I like how you... I honestly just love it's like, get hit once and you're like, am I gonna rage? Yep. Because it's me. Wrecked. One one minor inconvenience. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> that needs to be the new meme. Uh, it's just a picture of Kahal and then one minor inconvenience later. <laughs> Rage. It really is. Sabotage. Listen to all of y'all. Huh? Listen to all of y'all. Oh, Beastie Boys reference. Yeah. Uh. We have to actually, like, make dinner or something on our little break. Then we'll come back and everyone can watch me eat for the second half of the stream like I did last time. <laughs> The hell know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're all like, get the fuck out of here, puppy. No. 100 wing stream. Yeah, we still gotta do that. We also gotta do our, um, we also gotta do our, uh, Skyrim cooking stream, mm -hmm. which I think should be in conjunction with us playing Skyrim together. Yeah, that's what, the, yeah, that works. We don't actually go on break. Break is just us cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and then eating it during the second half of the stream. Yeah, I'm fine with that. 
It's like a six hour stream for Skyrim. You get two hours of Skyrim, two hours of cooking, two more hours of Skyrim. Again, I'm fine with this. That oh, actually would be a fun, skills. like, that would be a fun all day stream. Hmm. I like it. We should do it. Just, yeah. Because whenever you tune in, you're either going to get a game or you're going to get cooking. Three cooking, three Skyrim. Yeah. Puppy lover, you asked what's a beastie boy. Please tell me that that's just to make us feel old and you don't really mean that. Child. Please. Please. Child. Don't make your mother feel old. Nah, are they a comic character? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Child, why? Uh, Puppy Lover Beastie Boys is a music group that was very popular when Ian and I were younger. <laughs> Scott, God damn it, we're old. Yup, yup. Ah. Uh, I'll Google them. Okay, look up, look up Beastie Boys Sabotage. Um, what are some of their other songs? Sabotage is one of my favorites. Um. Huh? Picked oh. Wow. Uh, Intergalactic. Intergalactic. That's a good one. So Sabotage and Intergalactic. Look up those two songs. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, those are the best ones. <laughs> New YouTube React channel. We make our childer <laughs> listen to music they should have listened to. <laughs> Like how I just Stay keep luring them over here with like <laughs> bodies and then I just take them out. They're like, what is this? What is this body? I do the same thing in Assassin's Creed. I'll kill someone and then just like drop them like half out of a bush to be conspicuous. And then the NPCs are like, ooh, what is that? Good old fashioned stealth game body pile. <laughs> The robot over there peace. is like, I know some shit is happening. I'm just like, peace. <laughs> that gif of me from the new episode, Kindred Style. <laughs> yeah. The best part of uh, Sybil, who is on the new episode, mm -hmm. is that is my friend's character. That is my best friend's character. All right. And so uh, ATL by out. Night on Tuesday was me, me for like 30 can. minutes trying to do an impression of my best friend. And she sent me, like, 12 Snapchats in a row, crying, laughing, and wheezing because I acted exactly like her. <laughs> she was like, I'm full of so this much serotonin right now, bitch, you said lit. I was like, yes, I did. Just a vampire that's like, look, I just sit in the parking lot of a Publix and keep trying to eat tacos. <laughs> Take me out somewhere. <laughs> Mood. So I love, I love the idea of a Lasombra that isn't a broody goth. Mm -hmm. Lasombra that's just like, look, cool black clothes came with this, but really, I just, I want Taco Bell. Can you just teach me how to eat Taco Bell, please? So you, if you were a Lasombra. Exactly. What's the point? What's the point of being alive during fourth meal if I can't have fourth meal? Now we're talking. VTM vampires can eat normal food. Only if you have a certain merit for it. Yeah. You have to have like you have to have a certain merit that allows you to eat food. And even then you have to throw it up uh, before you go to bed. Yeah. Hell yeah. This should give us a look at what Indran's mixing into its biofuel. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, puppy lover, you still have to puke it up. Mm -hmm. If this data contains what you hope it does. And we'll be able to land a heavy Look at this way. Injury. You never have to got info deal with doing in uh, negative effects of fast food on your body. Crossed. How are things at the dam? Nails done, Faye. Please tweet me a picture of your Doesn't nails. Look like it. I want the to plan see worked it. Tag me too. They must think they scared you off before you managed to do anything. They'll figure it out in due time. We need to move. I'll go see Rodgo. Pop by to see Adana too, if you've got the time. She'd appreciate it. The polish is everywhere. That's a no. Oh, come on. Oh, can you DM it to me? I want to see your pretty nails. Yeah, send it to us and DM her on Discord. 
uh, if you're forced to eat food to look at so you can expend willpower to keep it down. I don't know if that's a fifth edition thing or an older edition. Um, I think it's older. Yeah, but uh, you still have to throw it up later. Bald woman for the win. Yeah. Hell yeah. We stand. So you just become violently ill? Damn. It's more like, um... It's more like, so there's a lot of things, um... There's a lot of things about, uh... I'm trying to think. Um... Have you had time to plan our next steps? There's a lot of things about vampire that you have to expel out your, your body plan. because you're frozen know, in time and I'm ready. from when you die. Get Ava and Adana. So it's time to attack stuff our like if you dyed target. your hair, it would all come out mm -hmm. when you slept. So the it's the same with food. No unnecessary. Does eating regular food empty your Go blood pool when you puke? That would be so harsh. No, it doesn't. It doesn't take a so old vampire. Uh, your blood was kind of like a gas tank that you had to keep filled. Whereas new vampire, it's just a part of you. Trust me. So you have to like. Which is why so your hunger goes up as you do things that like push the vampiric power out of you. You have an inner. The problem beast is, even if we manage to yeah. open the door, drives your hunger, and as you use your abilities, you risk anything. the beast so taking said, over more of your actions. Security to keep its eyes it actually functions a little bit more like rage. To work. Uh, yeah. Blowing up the V5 vamp, uh, V5 I'm hunger bad. mechanics are. Put the side out of I think action, people who play werewolf will have an easier time understanding this than they did the old one. That still makes sense. Blood is more fuel for your intrinsic vitality than an actual resource. Yes. Mm -hmm. then our problems are yes, solved. it is a part Ava, of everything you do. Of yep. So like, I'm you can you can roll God. in a specific we'll way that actually means that like you side. did it too good okay. because your vampiric power sort of way. took over. But if the outpost raises an alarm, so it's more a, it's Declan an influential part of you than it is case. like Adana, you mana. Your normal work like it's not like a mana pool from an RPG. Yeah, but it used to be. It used to be like a mana pool, and now it's more just like inherent abilities. Yeah, it didn't really matter previously versus now it actually plays it's a, it, it used to be a resource management system versus and mm -hmm. now it's a risk versus reward system um which yeah. adds a lot more to the game yeah i appreciate the risk reward it makes a lot more narrative sense we can kids may i please have serotonin kits Aw, he don't want to purr for me. Nope. Oh, oh I just realized. Go. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just realized uh, on future streams when we're in the same house, I can hold the cats while you play. And. Yes. On that note, uh, we are going to take a short break. Yes, I'm oh. going to make dinner. <laughs> yes, you're going to eat dinner. I already ate dinner, so I'm going to mix myself some more tea because my throat's still bothering me. And so, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 5, 10 minutes, probably less than 10. Um, but yeah. thank you for tuning in so far. We hope you're enjoying the Let's Play, the heckled backseat, backseat heckling Let's Play of World of the Apocalypse Earthblood, which is a very long game title. And uh, the conversation and 101 on vampire the masquerade that you're receiving <laughs> but we'll be right back thank you uh don't go anywhere stretch your legs grab some water uh i don't know pet a cat if you have one because free serotonin <laughs>
Hello, everyone. <laughs> we return. Uh, hope you all enjoyed your break, got something to eat, drink, stretch your legs, pet a cat if you have one. If you don't, go buy one, preferably from a rescue, and uh, come rage with us some more. Come rage while we have a nice, even killed conversation with our chat. And while I eat my dinner because it took a while to. <laughs> I made chili for myself tonight, and for people with misophonia, I will be muting every time I'm eating. Much appreciated. Um, I was gonna say, they said talk to your daughter, so I should go do that, huh? Do you feel ready? I do. Don't worry, Dad. I've been working there for months, and no one suspects a thing. It'll be like any other day. Poppy lover, you you're gonna be disappointed. Else? It's just Hormel. Otherwise, I've gotta get ready. <laughs> I'm leaving for the site as soon as possible. Oh, is it? Okay, weird. Because I, I remember everyone thought the music in the trailer was Alien Weaponry, but it was just some random French band. Mm. They must have actually gotten Alien Weaponry for the intro. Pretty cool. Oh, but Puppy Lover, I have a recipe for chili, um, which I will make for Ian at some point. Uh, but no, when I when I just need to eat something real fast, it's just Hormel chili and an entire sleeve of saltine crackers. I talked to Rotko when I first returned. He says you haven't gone through your first change yet. Not yet. It's weird. I feel as though I could, I like saltines too. Oddly enough, I'm my dogs sure like to. saltines better than they like dog treats. Your dogs are weird. But we do that. Right? Okay, okay. Be able to... Hormel's corned beef hash is really good. I buy the low sodium one because I'm not big on salt. And I just throw mm -hmm. it in a pan with some butter, uh, let it fry up for a while, and then I just crack eggs on top of it, cover it, and let the eggs cook in the steam off of the corned beef hash. Mm, delicious. You do so much. I just I just heated this up for two minutes and then threw crackers in it. Well, that's chili. That's different. Although I, w I do heat up chili on the stovetop. I don't really microwave a lot of food. Take all the time you need. It's a difficult choice. A Garu's life can be complicated. And you know as well as anyone the dangers the first change can bring. The rage. Yeah, I know. And Mom was human, but she was still the best infiltrator in the camp. Oh. Whatever you decide, I'll always be proud of you, Haiti. Thanks. That means a lot to me, Dad. I know you made Thanksgiving on Tuesday. You're a strange child. I still love you, but you're a strange child. <laughs> hey, I have a good Thanksgiving recipe. This year for Thanksgiving, I'm, I'm gonna try, and I swear I'm not saying an inappropriate word, I wanna try spatchcocking the turkey. Oh, yeah. I'm not really into turkey, but that method of cooking fascinates me from a scientific standpoint. That could be interesting. I've never brined a turkey. Yeah. Which... People always think is weird, and they're like, so your turkey's dry. And I'm like, no, because I throw it in the oven while it's still partially frozen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've never, yeah, I've, I've spatchcocked chicken before, but not turkey. That could be interesting. I, I actually enjoy making Thanksgiving food. I should be playing this game instead of talking. You just change this to a just chatting stream. Um, but I prefer all of the other stuff, because I also don't like turkey. Good luck tonight. We'll do chat Thanks. streams on our own you channel. Too. Just yeah. evenings with goth mom and dad. <sighs> Yelp. Where we just give you life advice that you shouldn't follow because we're not professionals. <laughs> but we've had, we've both lived lives. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like waiting Thanksgiving for 50 days. Yeah. yeah, but that's kind of the benefit of it. You make food for like a week when you make Thanksgiving dinner, especially if it's just you. Oh yeah, Snowbot plays. Hi. You have been talking about a character concept, and I did not read the first part, so I'm gonna actually pause for a second and scroll up and read what you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, by a black spiral dancer and was lost after their hive was demolished by a Garu Nation pack, and he was going to be adopted by a family as a pet before his first change. After which point, he was gonna be picked up by some children like Gaia that took pity on him. Common, actually, that happened, so that's cool. Uh, I think I wanted him to pack bond easy, easy. So we have experiences with pet, hunting dog, but frenzy easily too. Fiercely overprotective of the pack. I like it. Yeah. 
Um, my only commentary there, I think, would be... Oh yeah, I, I, would, I did not mean to accidentally shame Ellie about microwaving food. I just don't do it often. Um, Snow, uh, that that's a cool concept. I think um, my only thought there would be keep in mind um, that constant temptation to be attracted to the worm, um, which could just be fun to roleplay, but uh, you could also do a lot of stuff with that. And puppy lover, you ordered an ice cream sundae. You are living a better life, though. Where did you get your ice cream sundae from? And if it's from the best place, I'm going to be jealous. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I meant. Actually, you probably... You, I don't know if you've played werewolf, puppy lover. Attracted to the worm. Mm. What if I just did that one game where I just came in and was like, my character concept is the worm. Well, then I would be attracted to the worm. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yours are bleeding high and dry and strengthening the worm. New City Micro Creamery? Interesting. Uh, well, you didn't order from Scoops and Scootery, so I, I don't care. No, Puppy Lover, we... Because I have to get one for Ian. You need to come down and we'll all get uh, King of Pops, which is an Atlanta thing. King of Pops are like... They're these very, like, like, they're lollies, but they're, um, it's like an ice lolly, but they're, like, actually what they are. So, like, a strawberries and cream one is actual cream and pureed strawberries. Okay, that sounds cool. Um, like, they, they have a banana pudding one that is banana pudding, vanilla wafers, and cream. Oh, you have, you have Amtrak miles to use now? Well, guess what? Atlanta is on Amtrak, so... And you already know you have a place to stay. There's XP up here. Um, for those who don't know, Scoop and Scootery is a ice cream place near where Puppy Lover and I live, because we live near each other, um, in Boston, that uh, does amazing ice cream sundaes with a ton of different topping options. And then um, in non-pandemic times, they drive around in, like, moped scooters. And that's how they, they deliver your ice cream. Those scoops and scootery. I don't want a sense of protectiveness to possibly corrupt into a... Yeah, that, that could work. Okay. The worm, so in the lore in Werewolf the Apocalypse is you have Gaia, which is the wild. Technology is the weaver, and corruption and pollution and things like that are the worm. Um, typically, werewolves are the protectors of Gaia. They're the warriors of Gaia. Other were creatures serve different roles, like um, were sharks. They're the librarians. That's a thing. That's my favorite thing. Um, the were bears, the Garal, are the healers, which is my favorite thing. Um, Macole are just weird and were Godzilla, and we don't talk about them. Weren't there were spiders? Uh, yes, no. they're my favorite. <laughs> and there are were spiders, and they can either take giant spider form or thousand spider form, and they're amazing. Mm -hmm. And they are creatures of the Weaver, actually. Because spiders. I got I got into were spiders uh, from a lot of Japanese lore. Mm hmm There's also kitsune, which are where foxes, which are fun. Uh, Nuisha, which are where coyote. Um. God, we have so many coyotes in Atlanta. Yeah, I know. You told me. I like coyotes actually. They're fun. Uh. They they just because industrialism mm -hmm. is expanding out into so many resources this is actually an effect of the worm uh because industrialism and everything for human society is going out into uh, where the coyotes live um, they kill a lot of domesticated animals they trash a lot of areas they they have become a pest but they are a pest because we live in their area. Like, I can't let my dogs go out at night without heavy supervision because a coyote will get them. Yep. 
Yeah, so the the worm's whole goal is corruption and destruction. Vampires are considered a creature of the worm. Mm -hmm. Because we are a plague on humanity. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say you have tiny puppos, and also even if you had a big coyote or smart and will lure, yep. Yep. My, my dogs, I have three dogs all under 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, they're all very tiny, and I will hold them and shower them in coos, yes. I never... The thing is, I always grew up being either a cat person or a big dog person. I was like, if I'm going to have a dog, it's going to be like Labrador size minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and I did. I had a cockapoo, cocker spaniel poodle, who's pretty big. I've had multiple Labradors. Uh, I had a cat. And then... Uh, I was at a PetSmart event and they had just uh, rescued like 75 dogs from a boarding situation. Uh, like it was like a puppy mill that was just like hoarding the dog. And she was in terrible, terrible shape. I didn't even feel that well. And I just fell in love with her. And ever since then I was like, I guess I'm a small dog person now. And now I own a Pekingese. Her son, who is half Pekingese, half uh, Wolfie, maybe? Um, and then our new little one that appears to be like half Wolfie, half Italian right now. And my dogs are eight pounds, six or seven pounds, and then four or five pounds. Yeah. Ooh, They're all adorable. Them. And we love them. They're all adorable. They love. They love everyone once they get to know you. <laughs> it, took, it took Tyrion about 20 minutes before he was like, okay, you friend. And it took Luna an entire day after she accidentally knocked her head on your metal water bottle. I think she, she gave herself scared a, of you. I think she gave herself a concussion. I'm not gonna lie. I think she did. I think she had a little bit of a concussion. She was very scared of you for a day. Yeah. But she was fine. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a uh, medium to, not not big, big dog, but medium to large dog person, personally. Like, uh, Border Collie's that size dog. And cats. I love cats. I will always have cats. I will never not have cats, even though they try to kill me, repeatedly. And I mean that because I'm allergic to them. <laughs> this is my lot in life. I've accepted it. Oh my god, what? I had one uh, I had one family cat for uh, 17 years. We just lost him last year. Aww. He was a rude little shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was happening with the, my wolf there. I was mm, I was concerned. <laughs> that wolf was uh, grooving. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Lee. Thank you. Thank you, puppy lover. It's He was old. Yeah. He was old and he was not doing well. But he was actually... All all my best pets I seem to randomly find. Uh, he was... Somebody discarded a box of kittens on the side of the highway. And we found homes for all of them except one. And so I kept them. Your biopsies them. will be sent to Nevada for analysis. Mm -hmm. But at first glance, you seem perfectly healthy. Glad to hear. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Is that a thing people really do still? Yeah, people are cruel and horrific monsters. Yep. We hate them. And we love animals. <gasps> animals ask so very little to give so much in return. Yep. Which is why the every so now and then there it. will be uh <laughs> people who are on followers of my Twitter or my Facebook. Any, every now and then, there will be like a 3 or 4 a.m. post that's like, I've been sitting here crying for hours because I can't adopt every dog at the shelter. 
<laughs> because that's me as a person. That's a mood. I'll just on occasion just remember that I can't adopt every dog at the shelter and I just get irrationally upset about that fact. <laughs> Even though the yeah. shelter that's near us is Grainer huge. Made the request in person. She's not the sort of person you say no to. But I will say, in the pandemics, a lot of people were really pushing to adopt animals. <laughs> and one of our shelters actually wound up empty. Yeah, my mom... It was a beautiful day. My mother runs a dog rescue, and she made, she did really well during the pandemic. No issues. Like, Good. just in terms of being able to adopt out. They were still very active. That makes me very happy. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right, we are gonna sneak over here. Some big you out. Goodbye. Sneak over here. I'm gonna take you out. Sound the alarm. Nope. Just gonna sneak around this big boy. So is Gahal what? more of the? Oh, some of these people Security don't realize he's that kind of guy. Or to haul more of the they work for Enron, they deserve to die kind of guy. He's more of the they work for Enron, they deserve to die kind of guy. Yeah. They are of the worm. They gotta go. You'll actually notice as he's going through, if you do stealth, you kill everyone. You don't just, like, knock yeah. them. Like, some of the scientists you knock out, but the guards, nah, you just snap their necks. <laughs> Call said yes, all cops. Yeah. yeah. All, <laughs> wait. What were they, Enron? All Enron yeah. are bastards? Yeah. All Pentex are bastards. APAC. APAC. APAB. You ready to go? I've been waiting for this. Ava, can you hear me? I met up with Rodko. We're going through the gate of the fracking site. We're ready to launch the attack. Understood. Yeah. Oh, All Pentax are bastards. be holding kits in my arms as soon as Ian is down here. <laughs> That's not true. Now it's our turn. Oh no, I'll be holding kits in my arms once I go to pick you up. 13 days. I'm headed for the refinery. Yeah, 13 we'll meet days. Up when it's over. Until I get luck, to brother. play with the cats. And I guess say hi to you. And you, Ron. <laughs> uh, BSD is Black Spiral Everyone Dancer. Position. Black Spiral Dancer, which is a murderous clan and not a clan of awesome werewolf exotic dancers so like I thought it was. No which is not fair. Then let's get going. Kahal, you've got to connect me to their servers. Adana, as soon as I create a breach, oh. you get caught. Damn. Me. <laughs> and be careful, all of you. Look, yeah, that is what I wanted, right? Right? Just an entire, like, tribe of werewolves that are all, like, awesome exotic dancers? That's fair. Yes, they used to be the White Howlers, which were actually the most noble and, um, like, Gaia's favored tribe. Which is why they were the first ones to be corrupted by the worm. I mean, teacher's pet first to get discipline. Yo, a bullied, but yeah. Assistance. <laughs> you know, mm, child. Like, subscribe, and obey. 
Yeah, I've got you playing Borderlands 3 now, which has so much meta commentary on live streamers. I just saw our You're not sub. Far from the central control room. Chat you man pop. The Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. I love Troy and Tyreen, two of the best villains ever. They're pretty cool. Oh, you haven't even gotten to like all the cool shit about them yet. I can only imagine. So are we gonna try to stealth this or are we gonna rage? Thank you for following Narusagami. Yeah, thank you. Listen Much up, appreciated. As you're well aware, tonight we've been joined by a new batch of soldiers from the back. Also, thank you for the follow Snow Mutt plays earlier. I missed that and I apologize. Yeah, I'm trying to like keep an eye. I have so much stuff on my window trying to keep an eye on. I don't always call out I'm... follows because, you know, some people like to follow quietly, but they're always appreciated yep. nonetheless. But it pops up on the screen. It does pop up <laughs> on the screen. You know, a little bit of a visual thank you. I don't have to say it. They know. Oh, just finished your playthrough earlier today. Nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, what did you think? I am enjoying it so far. Um, it is a good non AAA title. And, uh,. You know, the the story and the writing could have been better, but honestly, I'm not complaining too much. Finally, I know you've all gotten to look at the elite guards from Nevada. They're the very pinnacle of what Endrin's enhancements can accomplish. The treatment they've gone through is reserved for the best of the best. Prove your worth to Endrin, and you'll be rewarded in kind. That's all for now. We showed up at the company all hands. Yeah. An officer will come to get you in a while to assign you to your posts. Dismissed. I think I was supposed to sneak around them while they were doing that conversation, and now I have to fight them all, but you know what? I'm okay with all of this. Just rage and drop down. I'm gonna take out the big guy first. Hi, buddy! <laughs> Watching your nails look beautiful, I just saw. Yes. I saw those as well. <laughs> oh god, I can't dodge all these shotguns. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Faye, I was saying I finally saw the picture of your nails and they look beautiful. Yeah. Where is he? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you're up there. Hi, buddy. Oh, puppy lover. I think I've grown my love for for Malks from Tilly. Her squish is serotonin and her name is Chantilly, squish. which is cute. So fun fact about Tilly um, that is mentioned in the earlier episodes. Um, Tilly is uh, from the coast of Georgia. She's from around the Savannah area. Um, so we, we vaguely mention it, but it was one of those in the early days I didn't think to explain things that were very Georgia. Um, the ceiling of like her front porch and her upper levels all the ceilings are painted haint blue which is a specific color that in a lot of the island cultures is to ward off like demons and spirits and ghosts and things and so Tilly actually uh, participates in that so Tilly um, grew up around a lot of people with island culture so I see her... the terminal porch has pink blue uh, roof on it. So yeah, if you look it up, it's like the word ain't, but with like an H in front of it. Yep. If you look up paint blue and um, I would say paint blue superstition or something, you can learn all about it. It's really cool and I like to deserve more call outs and representations because there's like there's so many buildings in Georgia that have paint blue roofs on the porch. Oh, 
think like actually the worker town might have. And usually you just do it over the park. Uh, Thank you for following Rusted Icon Designs. I'm actually drinking from one of your glasses from Gehenna right hey, now. Hey Rusted Icon, how are you doing? Yeah, if you guys actually, if you love this Gehenna gaming glass I've been drinking from all night, you can actually go to rusted-icon.net and order your own. You can get one for Gehenna, you can get one for us at ATL by night. We have, let me grab it. We have our Renoshery Camarilla glass. You can get it in their uh, section where you can support various streamers that you love. Also, they're amazing quality. Yeah, they're fantastic. Oh, no worries, no worries. You are very busy. I, I know, I watch how much you work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You you do so much for us already. You're good to go, Ava. And we appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. I have so much rusted icon stuff in my house right now. <laughs> I am sadly not using any mine to drink my raspberry pink lemonade seltzer. But I needed something flavored. But yeah, I've got a Bali pint glass, I've got the Gangrel tumbler, the Ankh tumbler. I still need to order my own Ghana gaming glass. <laughs> I have one before you. You do. Uh, thank you for supporting us. Um, I've got another one. I've got a, I've, and I bought like, uh, Rusted Icon does more than gl glasses too. Um, yeah. Yes, we do. We should talk. Uh, remind me, um, I'll ping you on Twitter tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and you guys, if you watch ATL by night, every single one of our players has a glass mm -hmm. of their clan. So that's what they're drinking from the whole time. I'm drinking from a Camarilla one on the show. I have a Malkavian one here at home. Uh, I've got these two glasses. I've got, we've got a virtual adept glass in the other room, yep. pint glass. Um, I have, oh my God, I've got like three more in the house. I think we have like an extra Nosferatu for Nikki. Nope. I've got a uh, a Malkavian one for me. Camarilla yep. is more of a political body than a clan, though, right? Yep. yep. But when I'm the storyteller, uh, and we're a Camarilla show, uh, that's big, the one that I do. Big Dad, I don't think there's a church to set one, but you could request it. Oh, hey, Chris. Okay. <laughs> um, it all makes sense now. You know what I was gonna say is, um, Rusted Icon also makes like decals. I have a Bali decal on the back of my car, uh, stickers, little like nameplates, a lot of really cool stuff. I'm just gonna keep shilling because I really like your products. <laughs> and that's what we do in this house. We stand creators who make cool stuff. Exactly. This community supports each other. Hmm. Church of Set are the cane is not real, folks. Yes, that is accurate. That is an accurate statement. I don't know if they have a little class. I don't know. Oh, I need some more water. Oh, whoa, I just walked through a wall. Awkward. Why do I keep pouring this and then forgetting to... I, I realize as I pour it that I forgot to open it. How does it serve the Camarilla's purpose to denounce Kane's existence? Um, not all of them do. Oh, but the yeah. core of it... The core of it is just essentially not having a big bad hanging over your head the whole time. Mm -hmm. We all came from Kane, but he's not, like, still chilling. It's like being afraid Lock of the them. Methuselah. A lot That's of them would I'm just doing, rather say that they're all gone. Yeah. Just makes it easier to get by. Yup. I'm at the first flare It's step. honestly the difference between Don't Christian there, churches as, as well. The like, those that get. um feel that Jesus walks among people and then those that don't. It's the same kind of thing. Are Gehenna and Ragnarok effectively the same events? Uh, yeah. In, in, in basic world of understanding. Dark, in World of Darkness, yes. Yes, we're not talking about actual Viking. I events. got confused for half a second. <laughs> I, mm, oh, you heathen. 
leave me be. <laughs> Never. And hail Odin. Oh, since I mentioned us. Um, if you're linking to yourself for us to die, come let me let me put it in chat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the shop link I dropped earlier, the the Cutley link at the bottom will also go takes everyone to Rusted Icon. Yeah. Because that's how we do here. Like, as the Garu's apocalypse is happening, is Gehenna also simultaneously revving up? Yes. So, yes. Yes. Well, um. Yeah. Oh, all my lipstick is coming off because I'm eating dinner. Um. Yeah, no, it's all, it's all happening at once. Um, because when here. the final nights happened and, and all this... That was pretty much when White Wolf was like, what if we just killed our entire product? Because we're done. And so it all kind of culminated at once. It's kind of like when Marvel did the Everything Burns arc or Brightest Day, Blackest Night. Uh -huh. And it was a cross Marvel thing. That's sort of what happened at the end of the White Wolf run of World of Darkness. Yep. Lips still look dark and fab on camera. Thank you. Every now and then I just like... Black lipstick is my favorite thing in the world, so. But, because I know Faye will care the most, um, I have to recommend this lipstick. <laughs> because I know Faye will go nuts for it. It is, uh, I think this is Maybelline. Um, Maybelline Color Sensational, uh, in Divine Wine. But it is that color. It's the color that you see me wear on every, like, every stream I'm doing not at the studio. It's this color. I actually have, just off screen, I have a container of all of the makeup that I wear every time I come on stream. Uh -huh. I specifically bought duplicates of all my makeup, so I just have a makeup set for streaming. You know me too well. Yep. <laughs> Divine Wine. Maybelline Color Sensational Divine Wine. It's pretty. I assume you stream World of Darkness campaigns. Yes. yes. I stream ATL by Night, which is a Vampire the Masquerade game set in the city of Atlanta. And we stream that on Tuesdays. Drop a link. Uh, yeah. Twitch.tv. Yes, ATL is very good. I have been a recurring character guesting <laughs> on it recently. Soon to become a more regular cast member. Hello there. Uh, and then here on Gehenna Gaming, we do a broader spectrum of horror TTRPGs. So, um, World of Darkness, Call of Cthulhu, um, basically if it is a horror TTRPG, we play it. When will Gehenna Gaming do a By Night? When will Gehenna Gaming do a Vampire Game? When will Gehenna Gaming do a Vampire Game? GG By Night! GG By Night. Um... So, uh, Snowmutt mm. said, do you have different makeup for different characters you play? And the answer is yes. Oh, yeah. I wear completely different makeup for different characters. Um, when we did Family Holiday, I played a little, um, Irish kleptomaniac, Malkavian. I have big red hair and freckles and blushy <sighs> cheeks. Yep. Ellie is a shapeshifter. <laughs> true. Very True. My Viking makeup is still off on the side from our Viking game, which we'll be continuing at Virtual Horicon. Yes, we will. Oh, that reminds me. I need you to send me a link to the what I need for my makeup for that. So I can order it on Amazon, preferably. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can pick it up at the market. Oh, okay. I just need to know what it is. I don't know. I don't know makeup. I do know makeup, but I don't wear it. Viking makeup was dope. That blue looks so good on you. Thank you. Come on. I'll actually show you what the blue was because it's really good quality stuff. Um, it is uh, Ben Nye. And I just applied it with a brush. Uh, but it is Ben Nye cream and cosmic blue. This is pretty true to the color that it came on stream. So yeah. Ben Nye stuff is great. There's too many of these guys. When will I rage? Right fucking now. <laughs> Yo, Western Gothic, I'm here for it. Fuck so yeah. funny you should say that. I'm I'm making uh, I'm making Ian let me 
run a western one shot for vampire. Yep. So there will be I've... there will be a western vampire game here on Gehenna Gaming in the near future. Now that I'm no longer in combat, to answer your question, when will there be a by night game on Gehenna Gaming? Soon. Oh. Later this year. Oh. You know about First it. First <laughs> Do I? Do I? Do you? Ava. I don't think I do. I don't think I know about this. I cast you in it. Good. Keep it up. You're in Did you? It. You're Did in you? it. <laughs> Listen, bitch. <laughs> You're Did you? in it. <laughs> Did you tell me about it, or did you just cast me in it? I don't think you told me. <laughs> I'm heckling him right now for casting me in a show, and I don't know what it is. Check your Discord. Yeah, no, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but she, But now that I've reminded her... No, no, we're, we're all just gonna, like... We're all just gonna go with this. Ian never told me. <laughs> just put me in a game. Did you tell me about it? Or did you cast me in it? Relatable content, Ellie. Yeah, that's honestly, I do that with people. See how I'm treated? Do you see the abuse I put up with? You are treated like gold. She's not, she's not wrong. You are spoiled to shit and back. I hope to be lucky enough to get to play in a game with you, Ellie. I would love to play in a game with you, Kay. I would love that. That would be so much fun. I feel like we can make this happen. This isn't anywhere close to abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I am spoiled rotten by the people who care about me, and I will fully mm -hmm. acknowledge that. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, I already did it. That's why. I can leave. Cool. You were too caught up in the love train. Dumbass. I have to slip that in there. Can't make, me, can't make me too comfortable with the appreciation. Nah, you know how much I appreciate you. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I, I, I like my uh, doormat. This is the content I'm here for. Aggressive love. <laughs> Not that kind. I, did, I know you got ideas in your head the second I said that phrase. Puppy lover. Wait, where did where did Scott say that? Aggressive love? I said it. Oh, yeah. Have you run anything with characters from different WAD properties? Yeah, <laughs> I've run uh, mixed games. Um, the problem is that though all the WAD stuff is technically designed off the same system, they don't exactly play well together, and some yeah. splats wind up, wind up being, like, massively overpowered compared yeah. to others. Mm -hmm. If you want a game with different creature types that works well, you want to play Chronicles of Darkness instead. Mm -hmm. um, but just in terms of, like, playing the other properties, yeah, uh, pretty regularly. Um, Big Dad, who's in chat, is currently playing in a werewolf game that crosses over with a vampire game that Ellie and I are in over on Carrying Cumber Studios. Uh, so you can check that out. Um, we are in Iron City by night, and your big dad is in Rage Across Birmingham. A uh, game happening at VHC that's like a yes, there is. So we are doing the um, we are doing a Chronicles of Darkness crossover game at Virtual Horror Con next weekend for Contagion Chronicle, which is a very interesting meta plot thing they did with that game line. Spoiler alert, I am God now. Yes, and I am I am God's protector in that game. <laughs> Contagion Chronicle. It's good shit. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Zach said, and I am somewhere eating fruit snacks. We're out of fruit snacks in the house, and that's a crime. I'm at the I'll bring some with stay. me. Be careful. It seems like they realized oh, yeah. something happened to the first one. <clears throat> I have quite a few of them in this house for some reason. 
No, we're not. I just hid them. <gasps> you hid the fruit snacks. You hid the squish. Mages are crazy OP. I barely understand how to play mage. I just know that my dice pulls usually are minimum 15. You <laughs> were my fruit Look. Squish. I'm loving good old fashioned. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Hold on. There we go. What is What are you doing? Oh, good. I'm trying to take out the turret. What sucks is where my camera is, I can't see your health bar, so I'm just like hoping you're doing well. Oh no, I'm about, I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, please don't die. <laughs> oh, Faye calling it a night. Thank you so much for stopping by, oh, Faye. You. I'm always glad to have you around. Absolutely. Uh, Changeling is interesting. I do recommend uh, playing it with people who take it seriously. Uh, mm -hmm. It's more fun yeah. that way. Yeah. Okay, have fun going back to being a Malkavian, Zach. Yup. Orpheus is cool. I'm excited I'm to see your game. Flare stack. Be careful. It's Another game playing at playing at a uh, virtual horicon. We'll be running Man. Orpheus. That's something we should do on a stream one night is play the Orpheus device because that we have. Do you, you do you not remember that we have plans to do that with someone? Yes. You do, or you don't? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I have the memory span of a goldfish. How? I don't know why you think I'll remember stuff. I think you just messaged me. I did. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. We're doing that. We're doing that. Yeah, we're definitely doing the Orpheus. No, no, no. Oh, the... We're doing... We're doing Wraith VR. Oh, yeah, that's right. You meant the Orpheus or thing. The Orpheus device, the one that you play on Google Home. Yep. Or Alexa. Uh, that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I played it on uh, my Google Home uh, in the middle of the night, which was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. I was terrified the entire time. It got very, very spooky. Oh no, Ellie. Yeah, I know. I'm a chicken. Not nearly as big of a chicken as some other folks that I want to play board games with. I just killed myself. I don't know how to do this part. Huh. Uh, sneaky? Nah, because uh, there's a guy looking at you the entire time. Uh. Hmm. I'm at the Power stance, Red Second says. Like <laughs> yes. You have to go in loud, okay. I don't have any more. Rush is super strong here. Okay. Okay. Kawuski. Let's do it. Actually, pulling pulling them into this area, you kind of bottleneck them. Yep. Heavy stance rush rushes armor, so you don't get interrupted when you're using it. Yeah, I just don't have any rage right now. Get you out of line of sight of the turret. I gotta generate some rage before I go in, so I have to chug some whiskey. That's the problem I'm having. Okay. They're coming to get Rut you, Barbara. Road, they're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara. That is one of my favorite movies. 
I'm at the I did not know, by the way, that they're making uh, completely unrelated. But I did not know that they were making a Silence of the Lambs show. Mm. Yes, it. Clarice. It premiered tonight, actually. Yeah, I found that out when I saw the ad today, and I was like, I didn't know this existed. Yeah, uh, Barbara is. A, they're coming to get you, Barbara, as a uh, line from Night of the Living Dead, Puppy Lover. Just watch it. Find the original Night of the Living Dead and watch it, please, for me. Oh. Fun fact: I uh, I dressed as Barbara for um, the cover of my school paper's Halloween edition, and I got all my friends. That like, is awesome. Uh, Clockwork Orange, Rocky Horror Picture Show, like, we just did a cover of, like, a bunch of classic, like, pretty films. Big yikes. That just makes me want to rewatch it and see Hannibal. Yeah. I love that show so much. It was so good. We have um, an art book, and I think they also put out a cookbook. Oh, Scout Redeemed Hydrate. And the trailer for Clarice actually puts a stab at Hannibal by remarking that they do real police work. If not, it's a full moon, and I have a <laughs> Last hydrate for the night. I'm headed to bed. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thank you for tuning in. Scott. Glad you're enjoying Miss the you. game. See you Monday. It'll be interesting to see what happens to Twitch once, like, the world is a totally safe place again. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, like, how many streamers maintain the pace they've been doing this year versus... Because I feel like I'm probably going to stream more. Actually, yeah. well, not more, but, like, I'm going to maintain it because I didn't stream much until this year, and I, but I always wanted to. Yeah. I just didn't. I think I will stream about the same amount, but I think the kinds of streams I do will change. Yes, agree. Right, I'm going to frenzy. Like, like, the Skyrim cooking stream. Mm-hmm. That would be fun to do again, but I think like once everything's over, it'll be like having friends over that have a favorite game franchise and make stuff from that game. Yep. You know, like I feel like my streaming will become a lot. It'll become a lot more interconnected. Yep. Instead of feeling so like disconnected from each other. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Is there nothing to like give you help? Yeah, I can heal. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, I. There's so many streams that I want to do, because like, cookbook stream. I have like five geeky cookbooks, and I need to like make shit from them. Yeah. Um, we're, we're planning on doing a cooking stream uh, once I move down to. Atlanta, where Ellie is. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more, like, ch hanging out, just chatting, cooking streams. I might do a cocktail stream. I have to look into the Twitch TOS first. Pretty sure I can. I just can't consume copious amounts of said cocktails, <laughs> which I wouldn't do anyway. Or, worst comes to worst, we'll just film it and put it on YouTube. Yeah, could do that too. Uh, I will volunteer as tribute for tasting when fully vaccinated. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's the thing is like I, because one of the like, one of the things that's been stressful on ATL by night is I had created a budget and everything that for 2020 before everything hit, I was going to fly out so many people to be on the show. Mm. And we were going to have this big interconnected world of all these extra characters, uh, pulling people in, tons of guest stars, promoting people from the family. And then COVID hit. And because we're in a studio, we can't really be flying people out for that. Flying's not safe. 
coming into a studio isn't safe for people who are not our cast. I put the relay on the second flare stack. So we just lost a lot of that ability. So once everything is safe again, like ATL by night will grow in that way where we get to have all the co-stars and things that we always wanted to have. That'll be cool. I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Going into 2020, Gehenna Gaming had a five-tier strategy for running games at local game shops, all the cons we were going to, all the publishers we were going to be working with. There's important plot going on right now, but whatever. Um, all of that stuff. We had to completely scrap it. We still have it, because we're going to do it this year, and honestly, I think we actually are better set up to do it now because of the pandemic, if that makes sense. Yeah. But Con cons are gonna be weird. Cons are gonna be here really now. weird. Um, I can already imagine that we're gonna have like, like badge ribbons that say vaccinated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, this is gonna be another. I just have to power through it. I think. Cause like, I want to get the vaccine soon. Yeah, I really do. But I think I'm in stage three, and we're still in, like, the second half of stage one. I think you're in the stage... You and I are in the same stage. Are we? I was yeah. going to say, I think you're... I was going to say I thought you were one ahead of me, but yeah, you're right. We're in the same stage. Yeah, no. They, they don't think that chronic bronchitis puts me at a higher risk. <sighs> I have opinions about that, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is dumb ellie i'm sorry yeah it's it's also because i work from home like and i have a pretty good setup working from home there's a lot of people that in my opinion deserve it far more than me i just want everyone to hurry up so i can get mine <laughs> like i don't want to jump the line in front of anyone i just want to hurry up uh, they don't auto-fail social roles. They struggle with roles, social roles social. against mortals. Social roles against mortals, specifically. Mm -hmm. I've made it to the lab. I see a helicopter yeah, I'm very, uh, puppy lover. I'm someone who's, who very much, like, I... I know that there are a lot of people far more deserving than me, so I will never have the arrogance to say, like, no, give me shot now yeah. before everybody else. Same. I just want them to hurry up giving everybody else their shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I see you, big boy. Please walk away. I have to... <laughs> I have to get other vaccines. Like, I, I'm due for my tetanus. Because you're supposed to, like, redo that every ten years. I'm like, alright, let's just... We'll make this a vaccination year. Show us the cat! He's gone to get the cat. Combo year. Yeah, combo year where I get tetanus and the flu shot. Uh, vaccines. Now. And then I'll probably have the COVID vaccine maybe in the fall? Maybe if everything goes faster? Shiva! Shiva. Oh, she's such a beautiful girl. She was asleep. <laughs> oh, so she's kind of like, by the why. Tetanus is a bitch of an injection. Yeah, it is. It hoits. But I also had like a steroid shot for muscles, which also hurts. So it's fine. It's whatever. We're taking care of our health in 2021. Anne, you are taking care of your health in 2021, I swear to God. I will fight you. I will fight you so much. No comment. Yes, Ellie, get him. <laughs> yeah, the whole, the whole family is going to be on my side kicking your ass to go to the doctor. Yeah, probably. Cute kitty, thank you, am I Yes, thank you. That is my small furry daughter, Shiva. 
She's camera shy. She knows when I'm streaming and she avoids me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> no comment. I absolutely will. I gotta make fun of him for many, many more years. That's why he has to be in the <laughs> Society needs more decisions by combat. Yeah, I actually, um, <laughs> so fun fact, I did a paper in one of my, I think it was one of my government classes when I was in high school that was like, I so I was like 16 maybe, and I wrote a paper about how Let the downfall go. of society I began when we stopped allowing duels. I'm coming. Like, when you can no longer just punch someone in the mouth for being a dick, like, society begins to crumble. I happen to vaguely agree with that, but not. <laughs> mm. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Madonna! Yeah. <laughs> Rodko! For legal reasons, I do not condone this activity. They knew. Well, and I wrote that paper out of the fact that I was like a, uh, I was a 16 year old that was being bullied all the time. But if I punched my bully, I would have gotten detention. And I was like, that's bullshit. That all. just tells them that they can be mean all the time. <laughs> so it was my, uh, my young, my young legal minded brain being like, if you would just let me punch them, this wouldn't be a problem. I think he's given into his rage, call. No, not Drinking you, from the skull of your enemies is more Please sustainable than to-go cups. It's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's very true. And you're recycling. I made a bully cry in high school. I made a bully uh, tell me he wanted to marry me our senior year. Because I, uh, I did fight back once, and he thought that was awesome. <laughs> I mean... We're still good friends! <laughs> This boss is easy easy. Okay, thank you. Yes, yeah, I'm fighting uh, Ric Flair. Uh, woo! Oh no, brother. So wait, why, why are we fighting him? He's he's succumbed to his rage. Oh, oh no, brother. Radko Silverfang apparently. Um, I think sometime Ian, we should do Fallout 76 on stream. Happily, I told you I wanted to play it. It's so there's a mission um, right now that to not spoil anything um, because I try to tell people Fallout 76 is a LARP. It's a digital LARP. That's all it is. Um, and there is a mission where there is essentially someone who wanted to be a photographer. And they... I'm going to shorthand it because it's really beautiful and I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's playing 76. Um, their photography uh, was very shallow because they were being kind of bigoted. And then they realized the error of their ways a little bit too late and died. And the mission that you get is to take a camera and go around the wasteland and create the photo album that they wish that they got to create. And it's such an emotional quest. It's so emotional and it's so beautiful. And subtlety in games like that, subtle little emotional things are just beautiful. And I like Fallout for that reason. Come on, you got him, you got him! Oof. 
Fick jag just det. För... They've oh. taken her. Oh. I'm sorry. He's sad. I... I could not resist my rage. I know, my friend. No one could blame you. <clears throat> She's all that's left of my sister. Find yeah, Kahal is very OP. I just, I didn't even try. Protect her. <laughs> I was just like, beat, 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 beat. Okay, he's dead. Ludmilla. I mean, I kind of agree with uh, Rodko. Like, if if someone took a family member of mine, oh yeah, and I thought that they were gonna die. I'd succumb to rage like real quick. Uh huh. Real quick. You take my kid. You're dead. You're dead immediately. Rodko. Mood. I had no choice. He was overtaken by rage. He would have killed me. Rodko, please. You can't be gone. Damn it, Ava! Snap out of it. They've taken my daughter. Where is she? They... They took her to the roof. Guide me. The elevator's in the office above you. You should be able to get there through a nearby ventilation duct. Yeah, I'm glad Chad is agreeing. Like, Rodko was right. Oh, yeah. He just wasn't going to down from it, so that's why he had to... Yep. Axe. Yup. Trust me, as someone who that is something that would make me get a little murdery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, I would not want to be the person between you and whoever took your kid. <laughs> you would do such a murder. I assume <laughs> it's a homic glass walker philodox. Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't know about Philodox, but I'm a Glasswalker, 100%. Philodox makes sense. Possibly a Ragabash, because she doesn't seem particularly wrathful. Yeah. Yeah. Donna! Fuck! So, fun fact, because I have dyslexia, no! it's very hard for me to read Ragabash and not think of Radagast the Brown. I just imagine a Wait, I man know covered you. with bird shit. I am Richard <laughs> Watkins, Endron's CEO. I've been keeping tabs on you for a long time. Then... you knew. Of course. Your little attack. Your little plans. <laughs> we knew everything. I've been trying to identify you for some time. You can't imagine all the wonderful things we'll be able to accomplish with you. Losing a few sights was a small price to pay. I've got great hopes for you, my dear. Mr. Watkins, we'll be at our destination in two hours. <laughs> what have you done to me? <sighs> Sweet dreams. Come on, girl. Just have your first change. Destroy the helicopter you're Right. In. You'll probably survive it. That helicopter. Find out where it's going. I managed to intercept one of their calls. They were talking about a package they were delivering to a reinstate prison in Nevada. Just wolf out. They also talked about some treatment. They want to do something to her. Yep. Find out all you can. Okay, Snowbot's explaining it. I Get things ready for our departure. As soon as I'm back, we're leaving for Nevada. <laughs> but what about Rodko? Yeah, a lot of the uh, werewolf tribes, for those we unfamiliar for with now, werewolf, sorry. it's, but it's cultural as much Rodko as it is what thing. you were born. I know. Yeah. So you the can be a total generator. human and be a glass Rocko walker. You can be, here. you know, mm -hmm. a werewolf and be a glass walker. It's mm -hmm. tribal. Yep. Yeah, so you've got Hamid and Lupus, which is born as a human, born as a wolf. Uh, there's another one, but we don't talk about them. Yeah, we don't. That's, they're offensive. Um, there are a bunch of tribes. <laughs> I don't know how many off the top of my head. I want to guess 13. I want to guess they, 13, but I'm not positive. Um, they kind of have a theme going in World of Darkness. They do. Um, Metis, yeah. Metis is... 
elaborate on what about Metis? Like Metis is born to a werewolf and they're typically the offspring of two werewolves because normally um, it's forbidden for two werewolves to mate. You have to mate with a kin kinfolk, which is either a wolf or a human. Um, so if two werewolves mate, you get a Metis offspring. They're usually deformed in some way. Um, it, it, Metis is not handled properly. I know I'm just elaborating yeah. on like for, for the people who don't. Um, yeah, Metis, it, Metis always treads into offensive uh, stereotypes of uh, inbreeding. Yes. And um, and I, 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 in the books, they do. Like, that's how it was yeah. written. Not necessarily how players play it, but, like, meh. Yeah. That's it's, why I'm usually, it, like, mm, on that. It was just one of those things that in the original books was kind of like, Ugh. Yeah. Not Yikes. done well. But it's also, we read these books nowadays, 20 years into the future with much better cultural understandings. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those, like, I personally would not play a Metis until I see how they're handled in W5. Same. Yeah. Um, I, I would have to see how they get upgraded in 5th edition, but I generally wouldn't play one now. Yep, same. Which, you know, I understand is... uh. Yes, exactly. So uh, I understand that's um, big talking for me who plays a Malkavian who are arguably uh, yeah. not handled very well in the original books too, but we yeah. also have V5 now, which has a better understanding. It does. Um, yeah, it's a source material problem. A lot of old World of Darkness has that. Yeah. Every every single splat has its yikes. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. Fucking have to Clan Ravnos used to be a big ol' yikes. Don't use Yo. your head, Ava. Big Without yikes. you, we're Giovanni blind. were a little yikes. So fun. I still played Giovanni a lot, and I loved them. Oh yeah. I, I, <laughs> but yeah, they they were a yikes, and it was never fun to like show up at a LARP and be like, I'm playing so and so Giovanni, and they're like, Oh, you're you're playing a inbred Italian? Like, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, and then the other term mentioned, Philodox. Uh, so, Werewolf uses auspice, which is the phase of the moon you were born under, and it influences your personality. So it's very um, horoscope, zodiac-based. But you have five of them, maybe six. I'm blanking. Um, Philodox, Ragabash, Philodox, Ragabash, Arun. Arun. Galliard, and there's another one. I can't remember. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream just arrived for a puppy lover. Uh-oh. <laughs> and uh my jealousy for you has grown. <laughs> Uh, oh. 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 The urge, thank you. Yes. What is this and how much fun am I about to have? Yeah, let's do this, buddy. Mmm, Fomori. <laughs> I love Fomori. They're so much fun. Is this the thing that you were teaching me about? Yes. So Fomori, for those who don't know, are worm-tainted creatures that are mutated, um, typically humans, but not always, and they're usually much harder to fight than that. decided to If you're familiar, if you're familiar with um, with vampire, consider them like Volsd. Yes. They're a lot like Volsd, mm -hmm. the the creatures that the Zemissi just make. Get your crew together and leave from um, Nevada. Find 80. They'll get harder, That's don't worry. Fine. Good, because they're turn. literally my favorite part of Werewolf. Oh, puppy Lovers uh, ice cream is maple, walnut, cake world. batter, and pistachio with hot fudge and whipped cream. Hot fudge. Across hot this fudge. Land. Oof. Yufen is just talking into my ear now. Humans. This uh, is their work. Oh. Puppy Lover, uh... And I'm asking you, because screw it. Ian's playing a game. I know you guys are from the same area. Are, like, uh, frozen yogurt bars a big thing up there? Yeah. I was asking something. <laughs> I love all of this. 
this is the best part of the game so far. Oh my god, this is amazing. Shit, this is cool. <laughs> Sorry, I just got really excited. They're up here, not as much as they used to. Oh, okay, down here there's a ton of frozen frozen yogurt bars where you just like. Oh, what kind of yogurt you want? Frozen yogurt. Then... Well, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, we have a bunch of them, but I haven't been to them in a very long time because of pandemic. So I'm not sure. I know anything that has a toppings bar is now sus. Yeah. <coughs> Ah, yes, our cameras that show cameras. Because why not? <laughs> Just Tony Hawk grind down that rail. There's a map in the new Tony Hawk that the publisher released that's literally just like fucking <laughs> rails upon no, rails upon rails upon rails. I know, that's but... not the sentence I expected to come out of you. I, you know I fucking adore those fucking games. We had this conversation. You should have expected that from me. <laughs> True. I love I love that one thing that was like, every day I study a picture of Tony Hawk so that I'm never one of those people that sees him out in public. I'm apparently just straight up going the wrong way. Motherfuck. Well, you know. Get it together. Uh, yeah, they're mediators. Judges. Yeah, philodoxes, philodoxes are mediators, judges. They're they're kind of the one that you trust mm -hmm. to to handle the more emotional and fairness aspects. Thurge are like the typically they're like your religious yeah. ones. And our runes are warriors. Do not delay what the heck? Dire. The forest what? is dying. I found my Why is button. it going? That's my bark button. Uh, oh, bark bark. It goes like black every time you bork. I don't know why it goes black when I bork. <laughs> Do Garu have one-to-ones with VTM clans at all? Not really, mm -mm. Um, but I, I think really all tabletop RPG, if you consider like what you like to play like and why you like to play it, you can find that spreads. in the other game. Yeah. Like um, over at ATL, we have a series that is in production right now uh, called Mortal's Guide to Darkness, which uh, does a one-to-one -one of D&D &D and Vampire. So to introduce Vampire to people who only play d, d So while there is not strictly a barbarian uh, clan in VTM, you can say like, well, for all the reasons why you might like playing a barbarian, you might like playing a bruja. And, you know, you can do the same. Like, if you like playing a bruja, you're probably gonna like get a Fenris, like Snowmutt says. Um, so it's kind of one of those, like, consider why you like to play the clan you like to play, and there will be a um, werewolf tribe that fits it. Mm -hmm. Arguably, because I like Malkavians, I should like Black Spiral Dancers. One but down. I also like to play Arguably, vampire. you could also say Stargazers are the most similar to Malkavians. Technically, but also like I like Glasswalker because so many of the tribes are very hippie. Mm -hmm. And screw technology, we are all here for Mother Earth, which is me in real life. But I don't. I I need my skyscrapers. We the streamers say screw technology, <laughs> gay Mother Earth. Yes. We'll just stream from the woods. It's fine. I mean, yes. I would... Most GMs discourage black spiral dancers as well they should. Yeah, agreed. Still getting the same results with the new DNA tests. Tend to cause problems, they are problems. Mm -hmm. Are you I dead no speak? I'm so offended by that. <laughs> um 
And guess what my favorite tribe is? I can't even. I don't know enough. I, I, I don't have one because I actually don't like wolves. Rude. Werewolves are my least favorite part of werewolf. <laughs> Irony, considering how much you just are a wolf. Yeah. I prefer uh, wear spiders, wear cats, etc. Oh, yeah. you and wear cats, of course. Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. It's not giving me a waypoint. You're you're a fucking chimera of tabletop gaming. You're built like a bear, obsessed with wolves, with the personality of a cat. I do love Garal. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like the changing breeds more than I like the wolves. I like Garal. I like, uh... The Kilikin are my favorite, um, cat, which are the ones that were also corrupted by the worm. Um, oh, what's the other one? And uh, Anansi. Oh, yeah. I love them. Oh, goodness. It's almost, it's almost 11. Yep. I'm probably getting, gonna have to find a stopping point soon. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed that I don't have a waypoint to follow, so I don't know where I need to go on the map. Yeah. I have a hair somewhere on my shirt because <laughs> I shed like a cat. You do. <laughs> Only long haired bitches know the struggle. I am indeed a tired bitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not going to be a waypoint. I don't know where to go. Then that's probably a good spot to leave off. It probably is, yeah. I'm going to give it one more shot. This pistachio ice cream is salty. Confused. Did they do salt with it? Like a salted... I don't Lupus, yeah. They're, they they are wolves incarnate. The epitome uh, of the werewolf. Those always crack me up because they really don't uh, discuss the fact that lupus are still born sometimes to human mothers. Mm. It's like, you ever just go into labor and a fucking dog <laughs> comes out? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That, I would, I would laugh so hard. Like, even if I didn't know about werewolf society, I would just be like, well... <laughs> Puppy lover and a dog comes out. You're just like, who put that there? Mommy and Daddy Strengthen love each other. Sometimes puppy. <laughs> 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 
I'm not gonna lie, one of the things I love more than more than anything is when people make those fucking baby announcement photo shoots, but the picture is just a dog. When it's like, we've had a very special delivery, do you see them like holding like a swaddled thing? And then like the next picture is just like the face of a pug. I live for that shit. I love that so much. Yup. I can feel my Claritin wearing off. Georgia has started to be like, you know, you can have a little bit of spring as a treat and then go right back to winter. She's going tired of sneezing. I know it's allergies because I got tested and I don't have COVID. You did just get tested. Yeah. Me too. Good riddance. All right. Yep. Oh, there's a thing. You walked past the spirit. I don't know if you needed to talk uh, to no, it. No, I don't have to talk to that one. Okay. And it just saves, the so I can stop after this. Is on the ebb, Yay. But its servants still live. Ready Ugh. yourself. They are here. Yeah, I think someone was trying to say and that trees were covering uh, Yefen's crotch. No, those are not trees covering it. It just doesn't exist. Yeah, it's just cut out. Oh, boss fight. Well now, what do we have here? Oh, it's Tank Girl. The mongrel that's been killing Ooh. my men. Truth! Show him what you can do! Be gone. This is no place for bloodshed. Make the Umbra take you. What? Oh. What? Stay calm! This changes nothing! Collect his fucking head! Oh, bitch. Oh, no, I don't think you understand what this happened. <laughs> Give me my fun toys. Well, welcome to the fucking Umbra. I guess we can't leave off here yet. We're gonna be here until midnight. What's an Umbra? Uh... So, Puppy Lover, because you're familiar with vampires, you know how, um... You know how the Sombra and things can kind of deal with the with the realm of oblivion? Like a bit of oblivion is where you slip off to when you go to sleep? The Umbra is kind of like that. It's like a different realm. Death knell of Sparta kicking a werewolf. I'm not afraid of you. What? I'll give her her tenacity. No! No! That was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Cool.
Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, they fucked up. They fought a werewolf in the Umbra. You have freed yeah, literally, like, your power level. Of the worm, and the spirits are returning to the forest. Your uh. fight for the cairn is <sighs> over. <sighs> Yeah, I'm stretching. Yet, we'll be going to bed soon. Yeah, it's, it's time. It's time. Yes. Once we get through this dialogue, we're going to wrap. Troubled. I'm going to laugh if I'm only oh. like 10% of the way through the game. We have lost our huh? leader. I'm going to laugh if I only have like 10% of the game left. Even heavier oh, yeah. on my heart. Endrin has taken my daughter. It's one more stream where I, I get to like make fun of you and we get to have existential conversations with the chat. I love it. Though Thank you for the follow, Puff Dabs 420. Thank you for the follow. What had to be done. Leave without fear. It didn't pop up on the screen. So I didn't see it. Oh, sometimes. I will call the Garu back to this cairn and continue my endless vigil. Puppy lover, I see that you sent me we baby announcements that are dogs. That's exactly what I meant. Those pictures. Ava must have found eighty. She must have. Okay. <clears throat> I was drinking water, sorry. Someone redeemed hydrate. Thank you, I just got Lover. really confused because someone said Luna's face and I was like, Your dog? <laughs> no, but my no. dog is in another room. Uh awesome. So Everyone who's hung out with us tonight, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This is a, uh, we don't always play video games. I, I like to play World of Darkness games when they come out. I played Bloodlines earlier this year and earlier last year in anticipation of Bloodlines 2, which got delayed to later in this year. So probably not going to play it. Maybe I will play it again before Bloodlines 2 comes out. That could be fun. I played as a Tremere last time and they are broken as hell. And I also bugged the game and couldn't actually finish it. So maybe I'll play it again. Um, games like these, sometimes we play horror games. I played Outlast uh, in 2019, a um, few other ones. But mostly we do tabletop horror gaming. Vampire, Werewolf, Call of Cthulhu, Horror D&D, Ten Candles. Ugh, so many horror games. So little time. And they're all fun. Um... I am Ian, or Ravnos. You can find me over on our Discord. I am also one of our podcast hosts, so if you listen to our podcast, you'll hear my voice there sometimes. You can mostly find me here on stream and doing the things. And, so since you mentioned Luna... And now you have a Luna. This is Luna. This is our little Fera. <laughs> She's like, why did I just get dropped off in <laughs> what, here? What? Why? What? Huh? Um... This is little Luna. Hi, sweetheart. She's adorable. My little four pound mongrel. Yup. Give kisses. Nope. She must nope. she must rage. <laughs> she wants to Thanks for the rage. She, she wants Luna. to rage. Uh so yeah, you can find us over on Discord, you can find us on Gehennagaming.com, you can follow us on social medias at Gehenna Gaming or Gehenna Games on Facebook, I think. And uh next weekend, starting on the nineteenth. <clears throat> sorry, my throat is dry. Uh we have Virtual Horrorcon. Virtual Horrorcon is a the second outing of our online virtual tabletop horror tabletop gaming convention. Uh, we will be running panels, workshops, actual plays, and non-streamed virtual games for you to play in. You can find out more information about that at virtualhorrorcon.com. I'll drop a link in a minute as we end the stream. But this evening, uh, for the second time, I have dual streamed with the wonderful, lovely, amazing, I might love her or something, Ellie Collins <laughs> from ATL by Night. I don't know, do you want to say yes. anything? <laughs> <laughs> so yes i have the storyteller for atl by night you can catch us on tuesdays at twitch.tv slash atl by night where we are currently in our fourth season with threats of the sabbat and the no. second inquisition currently looming there's no sabbat um, there's no sabbat at all uh but i'm very glad to do these streams they're very fun it's fun to step out of the storyteller role for a little bit mm -hmm. and just play games with someone i love <laughs> And we'll be doing more of that 
come March. Yeah. Come March, we will have some very special streams coming up. So uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well at Ellie underscore A underscore Collins or at ATL by night. And I will have a bunch more information coming up there. And then this is Luna. She has no streams. She is two years old. So she's not old enough to have a stream yet. No, she's not old enough to have a, <laughs> have a uh, Twitch account. She's not old enough for a Twitch account. I'm pretty sure they'd ban her. We'll just make a Twitch that's a 24-hour Luna stream. Yeah. She's not normally this sweet. She's normally quite mean. <laughs> she's normally quite uh, aggro. What is it? Oh. Sleepy. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, she's... So thank you everyone for tuning in. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to raid someone. I don't know who yet. We'll find out who's online. Thank Let's you. Let's see. And we will be back not next week. Not the week after. But in the near future. Maybe next week, depending on what day of the week it is. Uh, in the near future to finish World of the Apocalypse Earthblood. I promise. So mm. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful evening. And like I said, don't go anywhere. We will be raiding someone and sending you over to a fantastic game that is streaming right now. Take care.